Hello everyone, uh, welcome, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Alex Oliver and these are my friends. Tonight we're playing some Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this is a little scenario that Martin is running for us called Breaking Hearts. Uh, he will talk about that in a little second. First I'll introduce myself and your players for the evening. You all know me, I'm Alex Oliver, I'm the host with the most. Uh, by the most I mean these guys, they're superb. Uh, and it's going to be a pleasure to be playing for you tonight. Uh, the guys will probably get a chance to introduce themselves in a second, but tonight with me I have, I'll go from me across, I've got Max. You all know Max runs the Star Wars RPG uh, campaign on this channel, and it is superb, so check that out. Next we have a new addition to the team, my friend George, who I'm very, very, very excited to bring to the game. Uh, next to him, you all know Chris Kidd. Uh, wearing a dress for you all this evening and <laughs> another new friend of mine Brad who will get a chance to introduce himself in a moment as well and tonight uh, you have a very special dungeon master uh, not only have you seen him many times on this channel playing in games and running in games but as you know you can hire him to play games with you to run a game for you and you'll find that link down below in the, the description on the YouTube video, Martin will tell you a little bit more about that himself, no doubt. I am very excited for this one. This is Breaking Hearts with Alex Oliver and Friends. I'll hand you over to your Dungeon Master for the evening, Mr. Martin. Very good. So, Romantic Hollows today. We are playing a Valentine's romance-themed one-shot called Broken Hearts. And you can get it on Drive Through RPG. And I think it was really cheap. It was like maybe $2.00. Uh, it's really cheap. It's really good, uh, I think, for a short adventure. If you want to run something for Valentine's Day or your party or, you know, want some kind of romantic, wacky fun. Uh, so, yeah, I suggest you guys check that out. So, yeah, uh, I am Martin. I, uh, yes, do run paid games and also I have a YouTube channel. So you can watch me give you tips about being a DM or see my new show that will be coming up in, in autumn. So, yeah, lots to watch out for. So click on all the doodars below. Um... Yeah, and we'll go around, and if anyone else wants to introduce themselves or pimp anything else out, have we got any volunteers? <laughs> uh, uh, I'll go first because it's it's my channel. So you'll mm -hmm. be Alex Oliver. If you check out my link below, it's in all my links, and you'll see everything. So follow on Twitch, we do live streams, join my Discord, we've got all sorts of games going on, Dungeons and Dragons and every other cool TTRPG with lots of cool people. Check that out, Those are that's that's my pimp one out. Uh, Max, would you like to go next? You're next in the... Yep, I will go. Uh, I'm Max. I've been playing with you guys for a short while. As he said, I do run a Star Wars campaign. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'll thank you again for Martin running it and Oliver for uh, hosting it. Uh, next on screen is George. Hey, I'm Georgie. Um, I have a small Discord of my own called Gas Guild. Yeah. Good judge. <laughs> last time. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> sorry, it's me that's looking at it. You guys don't know the order. Chris, you're next. Sorry, bud. Uh, uh, hello, my name's Chris Kidd. I am a fitness coach uh, from Northern Ireland. Um, I'm wearing a dress as per request of Martin. He paid me uh, 65 quid on the website that shall not be named, but mm -hmm. if you like, click the links down below, um, then you'll find the breadcrumbs at which you are looking for. Mm -hmm. Thanks, and Chris. if you want to donate to the stream, Chris might clean things for you on camera. So it's up to you guys. Next, it's my another new friend, Brad. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Brad. Uh, I am so excited to be here today. Um, uh, in terms of pimping stuff out, I've got a Kickstarter running with Action Fiction. Um, uh, Cthulhu Dreamt, you can check it out in the links below. Um, it's going to be super cool. We've also got our own Discord if you want to come in and hang. Uh, actionfiction.com or the Action Fiction Discord. Cheers, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Very good. So I think we are ready to play. So we find the adventurers on the smallest of the inhabited mage islands called Heart Island in the small seaside town of Lover's Cove. It's a popular vacation location for some of the students and staff of the nearby Hexford University. 
And being the off season for the adventurers, they are taking a rest at the. I apologise. All the puns are starting to come, so this this will dictate how the rest of the show goes. Um, taking a rest at the Salty Seaman Inn um, here on Heart Island. Uh, the uh, adventurers have had a nice boozy evening um, and are now waking up for breakfast. Uh, so I'm going to go... Th- uh, I guess we'll go through the last order. Um, so... Oliver, do you want to introduce your character as they come walking downstairs uh, for breakfast? Okay, as he comes walking into the Salty Seaman, you see a turtle carrying a shield and a sword with a couple of javelins on his back. Obo the Wise is a paladin. He has a little bit of a backstory. In fact, he was raised from 0 XP to this level 3 that we are playing in a play-by-post campaign. Uh, Martin's very kindly let me keep a potion of healing on his character sheet that he had and inspiration that he finished that campaign with. So uh, I'm very excited to bring him to you. He is Obo the Wise, he is studious, he reads every book he comes across and he is a paladin of all that is good and righteous and holy. So if for the evening he needs to be a paladin of love, then that is the paladin that he shall be. That's Obo. Very good. I think next up was Max. Same thing. So you're walking down to breakfast. What do we see as you walk down? Uh, you see is a disheveled half. Uh, I think it's uh, is an elf. Uh, is actually a ladron. Very rare to see his kind around. But he's disheveled. Most of them are more like you know the press proper looking ones. He just kind of just grumbles. Look at the tortoise. <laughs> he looks down. And he like kind of gives a nod, and he's like half this drunk he just you know drunk the night out and he just you know he has that face that he has like broke hearted and he kind of came here like maybe he can meet somebody or something he just heads over to her table and just slumps on his head down kind of like Ugh. very good yeah you sit down and uh, you guys can order some breakfast uh, next up i think was george same thing as you walk down the stairs and um, into the breakfast room uh yeah you would see a a rather large green half orc, um, wearing very tight spandex. It, it barely covers his ass and his gut because <laughs> it very much hangs over. Um, you, you can't really tell if his hair is his own or if it's at one with his hat because it, it may be a wig. But he's <laughs> he's fumbling down the stairs with his his bagpipes, just playing an awful tune. <laughs> That is a mental image that I don't think most of us will ever get. Get that. I don't want to know it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I also uh, got from level one to level three before. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I think up next is uh, Chris. Uh, so my character is Ugg the Bone Rattler. Uh, Ugg stumbles down the stairs disheveled as he had far too much grog the night before as he was out in the town with his fellow soldiers celebrating a wedding of one of the more seniors in the group and somehow stumbled upon this tavern and this is where he laid his head down to rest he's a half orc um, barbarian um, and a bumbling fucking idiot that's why he's dressed how he is <laughs> very nice so uh, lots of smart characters and uh finishing us off how about you brad what do we see as you walk down for breakfast uh i think contrary to the other characters random is uh raring and ready to go um uh, I don't know if this tavern does room service, but if so, he's already got uh, a coconut in each hand um, and is walking down uh, the, like like just the worst person uh, to be around when you have a hangover. Just like a little bit too loud, a little bit stompy with his feet um, comes and like slides the chair back to sit down. Uh, uh, Ranum is a Triton Druid. Um, so he's, uh, dressed in, uh, sort of like a leather, uh, not necessarily super sexy, but not necessarily unflattering, um, armor, 
Uh, it's got blue skin, almost like that of a like uh, an air genasi, but a little bit like deeper. Um, and his eyes have no pupils; they're just white. Um, pupil might not be the right word. I'm not an eye doctor, so I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, but they sort of they almost glow. Um, and I think he he sits down and like plops the two coconuts. Very and, good. Like, slurps one. Very good. So in my head, it looks like some very fucked up male strippers. This is going to be a, a, a bad... Magic Mike moment, moment. Magic Mike. Mike. You'll, want, you'll, yeah. want, you'll want to know it's, it's actually valid. And I didn't mention that um, Obo doesn't wear armor. In fact, he doesn't wear a shirt. He walks around with his pecs and six black out. Mm. There you go. So you're all trying to warm up like each to other in the not many clouds. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you all guys know each other reasonably well. You've been adventuring for, you know, three levels. So you know each other a little bit. Um, and the uh, innkeeper called Bubbles McSeaweed, who is a sea elf, um, comes over to uh, get you guys some drinks and some breakfast. Uh, and as this is going on, you hear the indoor burst open and this uh, large middle-aged dwarf woman runs in crying um, and she says please someone help me my daughter uh, i've not seen my daughter for weeks no one will help me please anyone and she just starts sobbing in the middle of the floor of the inn um, i will say the inn's quite quiet it's pretty much just bubbles mix seaweed uh, this dwarf lady and you guys it is the off season so it's quite quiet in this uh uh, very nautical slashed Valentine's Day looking in that you guys are in. Obo will approach the, the dwarf lady straight away. Okay. To try to console her. Okay. You said, well, how are you, how are you going to try to console her? I would say, oh, uh, uh, um, hush, uh, deep breaths, please tell us uh, you, who 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 your, who your daughter is and where, uh, and, and where you expect her to be, or please. Um, tell us the story, but you must you must take some deep deep breaths first and 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 relax. Very good. So yeah, roll me a persuasion roll to see how she takes your uh, takes you come in to see how she is. Eleven. Eleven. I'm gonna roll and see how she does to uh, yeah defend herself from you trying to help her. Resist me, me oh. being nice. <laughs> Well, she got a natural 20, so she is just not Ooh. interested. Can I she just, uh, she, she's still she's still crying. She, however, whatever you've done has riled her up a bit, and she just blanks you and starts kind of sobbing at the floor. I will go across um, to try and get more. her a, drink, a glass of water or something from the bar. I'll, I'll walk away from her. Okay, yeah, she does not seem that impressed with you. Uh, anyone else who would like to uh, try anything with this poor woman who is still sobbing on the floor of the bar? Mm. Uh, I, yeah, I think Ranum will go up and give it a shot. Okay. Um, so. uh, I think Ranum goes up uh, to the, the sobbing woman and um, sort of like says, seems a little shy at first. Like, I, you, my, my, my friend tried to help you. Um, we just want to help. We really do. And then I'm just going to druid craft a little, like, uh, a little plant, a little flower out of my palm to see if I can just give it to her mm. maybe make her feel better. Okay, same thing. I'm going to make you roll persuasion. Let's hope she likes flowers. Um, so you, yeah. you roll, and I'll roll to see, yeah, how she takes what you're trying to do. Okay. Oh, giant eyes. Very impressed. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so that's a 15 on the roll, and then I have a... I have a minus three charisma. <laughs> 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 um, and no perception... No, Sorry, no persuasion proficiency. Okay. So that's going to be a 12. Uh, lucky for you, she felt very low. So clearly she really likes flowers um, nice. and uh, starts to... Calm down a bit and see is uh, what flower per chance was it that you made for? Because clearly it's uh, done the trick. Uh, I think it's a, a water lily. Very good. Oh. She's like, oh, it's, it's my favorite flower. It reminds me of my daughter, and uh, she does seem to start uh, breathing and and calming down. Uh, the sob start. Uh, the sobbing stops. Uh, just 
real quick, Brad, mm-hmm. are you able to roll dice in beyond? Just because I've got that yeah, showing up on yeah. screen. I've got that showing up on screen so the audience gets to see that. If you can do that there, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, apologies. I didn't know what the Oh yeah, you're was. all good. Sorry, I should have said, yeah, roll dice in, in beyond. Good. I've got that displayed on screen. Okay. Um I wouldn't bother re Yeah, I'll do that, that next one. time. Yeah, don't re roll that one obviously. But I will be asking you where you got that giant dice from later, because I definitely want one. <laughs> yeah, also yeah, um, that's cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I will go and see what are the other characters doing. So, uh, Max, what are you doing? So you've seen one of your friends not have the best time. Your other friend seems to have calmed this woman down. What would your character be doing? He, he kind of sits up, you know, he just, like, has a thing of water, just chugs it back, and just kind of, like, rub his brow, and is like, I don't think I need this in the morning. Because he kind of, you know, you know, shakes his face off, walks over to the woman, and is like, can you please be quiet down a little bit? It is very loud. If you're nice enough, I could help you. <laughs> okay, she just kind of gives you a side eye, but she does seem a lot calmer, luckily. Um, how about uh, Olga? What's he doing? Um, yeah, The more she sobs, the sadder he gets, too. He, he begins <laughs> to, like, start sobbing himself. You know, he's not really sure why. Um, but he's like, well, he just, he's like, why were we sobbing? Why? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you have one of your uh, friends is now crying, and, uh, how about Ugg? What is Ugg doing? Ugg is annoyed at noise, loud noise, everywhere. Ugg no like loud noises. Everyone quiet now or smash. <laughs> uh, so lucky for you, there isn't many people in the bar, though uh, uh, Bubbles Mix Seaweed, uh, he does indeed have a small pipe that he's blowing bubbles out of, kind of blows a few bubbles in your direction. Um, but he... Uh, kind of goes over to the dwarf lady as well and you guys so she seems to start talking to you and she reveals um that her daughter has gone missing um and she has tried asking everyone around town for help no one seems to have seen her and um, the last person to see her was um bubbles um so yeah she's wondering if you guys did you guys look like you could handle yourselves would you would you think you could help me find my, my daughter i would immediately volunteer yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd say sure. What's it worth to you? We'll come back with a glass of water from the bar that I got for. Her. Uh, she yeah, she does indeed drink the water. Uh, yeah. Someone was asking about money. Yeah, roll for persuasion or intimidation, depending how you want to handle how you're speaking to her. When he says that, no, he. When he says that, Obo's going to put like put his arm in front of him and says. We do not need money from this woman. We are to rescue her daughter. What are, what are you doing, sir? Yeah, I look at Obo. You know nothing's ever free in life. There's always an exchange for everything. And he looks at the woman, shakes his head, and gives a little wink. Uh, so she's like, uh, she's like, well. Yeah, uh, just like maybe, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I could maybe give you guys the money, but I just really need uh, someone to help me find my daughter. Of course. Where's your daughter gone? Um, well, she she came here, uh, she's quite a, shy, quite a shy and quiet girl, um, and uh, as a mother, I was very overjoyed when she received this, um, uh, I've received this postcard from my daughter a few weeks ago saying she met this lovely boy called Ryan. This was wrote before, so just in case anyone feels victim victimised, uh, called Ryan, and they were spending their vacation here from Hexford University. And she shows you guys a postcard uh, which says, um, addressed to the woman, um, whose name is Evie. And uh, yeah, it just says... Uh, seems to be explaining what her daughter Matilda has been doing um, and the postcard has a picture of somewhere called Heart Plunge Cavern and uh, Matilda had wrote that uh, she was going with Ryan for a lovely picnic up at the Heart Plunge Cavern 
and that's the last information the mother received and that was weeks ago and she's come here and yeah no one seems to have seen her since she left do, do any of us have heard of the heart plunge tavern and know where that is uh, uh, Mark. i could maybe you can all roll for yeah uh, a history check if you want to see if you've heard heard of this place well, and that one. Okay, you don't know. 16. You don't know what you don't know. You, you don't know what a cave is. You're like that. <laughs> I'm very confused. Did anyone get over fifteen? I got a sixteen. Okay. Eighteen. Okay, so you two actually uh, vaguely heard of this place. It's not really famous. You just heard that there's this. Uh, really nice pink um, looking cavern that's supposed to have a waterfall in it that's on this island and it's yeah quite romantic obviously being on this heart-shaped island you don't really know anything else apart from that it's kind of a, um, a natural world type thing that's been a bit of a tourist trap but yeah have you vaguely heard of this place i'm gonna turn to our party member who doesn't know what a cave and goes so a cave a cave <laughs> is like is like a hole but not in the ground. It's like a hole in the side <laughs> of the ground, like sort of like a like a sort of like a hole sideways. It's a hole sideways. Yeah, it's like a sideways. Yeah. At this point, Obo's going to retract his head into his shell and bend over ninety degrees to portray a cave to show him like a visual <laughs> representation. Yeah, like that. yeah. Start using Obo as sort of a like a diagram. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So, as some of you guys uh, explain about the hole, uh, yeah, she says, um, so, uh, uh, Evie says, so, do you think you could go and maybe check this place out to see if you can find my daughter? Why, well, I'd be duty bound to try to find your daughter. Yeah. If only to show our friend here what a cave is, then, yeah, but also to help you, for it is the right thing to do, I think. Uh, she says, well, uh, she is overjoyed with happiness. She knows you guys uh, seem like capable people. She says, is there anything else you guys would like to ask me? So I'm very tired from running around all morning uh, trying to get help. So she's going to go and have a bit of a lie down. But she asks you if there's anything else uh, that you could need from her. Uh, do you have anything that, do you, like, do you have a... a the postcard she showed us, does it have a picture of, uh, or like a drawing of either of the couple, either Ryan or the daughter? Mm -hmm. uh, it does not. Um, so the daughter's the, name is Evie? Uh, the, the, her daughter's name is Matilda. Matilda is uh, daughter, sorry. This one yeah, is called Evie. Yeah, and the mother is called Evie, okay. yes. And Ryan is the boyfriend of Matilda. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um... Do you have like a like a physical description? Maybe some sort of like I don't know, like a like a statue, like a carving or something of your daughter, like a like a I guess a picture would work too. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I have this massive statue of my daughter that I carry. Marvel statue. <laughs> um, roll me a persuasion roll to see, yes, see what happens. We all know how great I am at those. Now remember, you guys can help each other, you just have to tell me how you would help your friend. So, I'm guessing you didn't roll great. Uh, I so got a unless... zero. A zero, whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's like, she can't, She actually slaps you and calls you a pervert for asking. However you said it, she made her feel creepy and a bit sick. So she just slaps you and, yeah, kind of walks away from you at least she's like anyone, anyone else <laughs> anyone uh, else no i mean at least at least that's the way to get some kind of action i guess <laughs> um, so yeah it's like eric it's like well do you have any like a something like a i guess a like as he was saying any kind of picture or anything that we can show around or a better description of her 
Um, so she gets kind of a, she has like half a locket round her neck, uh, you know, like the two uh, shapes mm. of a heart, and she has half of it, and she mm. kind of shows you guys, and it, it does seem to be a pitch. She says, this is my daughter, Matilda, uh, who seems a very, like a younger version of Evie, um, but she just shows it you. She's like, well, I don't know if I want to part with, with this with, and she kind of coughs perverts but um no no she looks just like you there's no need she looks just like you yeah and, and you know as as she's talking and stuff like that, i'm gonna slide a hand in that off her neck and she doesn't probably notice it it's like okay <laughs> you can try and slide of hand her if you want to try and steal the necklace that's fine so roll me um, slide of hand wait obo's passive perception is what because i'm not paladin i'm not having this uh <laughs> Before you roll, can I turn and give him a quick guidance on this sleight of hand check? Oh, uh, yeah. Just like, I'm like turning away from the party to be like, yeah, she doesn't want me here. I'm going to go get two uh, more coconuts. Well, I rolled a 16. I guess I roll another d4, I guess. Well, my passive yeah, perception yeah. isn't high enough. I'm going to roll perception if nobody minds to see if I see this. All right, so I'm trying to figure out how do I roll the next dice? No one got nine. Uh, on the left. Uh, there's a little hexagon oh, dice. If you click oh, on that, you can yeah, you can do customized dice rolls on that. Yeah. So that's uh, a four. So that's a twenty total. Okay. So yeah, I'm pretty. I mean, I'm gonna roll for her just to see if she noted it, notices. But Bodies. oh no, she got a one. So <laughs> I don't know. I maybe I rolled for perception and didn't see it. So. No, I don't know if maybe because between the slap and the guidance, like the jiggling, it just like you do it. So she turns and you, ri it, yeah, it's gone. She does at this point. She does not know. So yeah, you can point that you have a small gold locket. It's probably only worth about ten gold pieces. But um, yeah, you do. He does have a picture of her daughter Matilda in it. Yeah. So he he sits there, walks around the other side, and just kind of his hands go like you know into like his coat pocket and just sits there, kind of this you know like his cloak kind of. Like, you know, <laughs> you body, Max, you body. <laughs> hey, well, I'm a rogue thief, so it's like... Uh, I mean... It I'm, is, you don't say that. You can't get angry at thieves for stealing stuff. It is it is the bane of DM's life. Uh, how about uh, Orga and Ugg? What are you guys doing? The last time one of you was figuring out what a hole was and the other one was not enjoying noise. Um... <laughs> I guess I will see if I notice that sleight of hand. You can do, yes. I mean, it'll generally be, unless you were actively doing it, it's just kind of your passive perception. Um, He's not seen it either. I've not seen nothing. No. Okay, yeah. So remember, I'm unless you were... trying to figure out what a hole is at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so a hole is like <laughs> it's like a pyramid but reversed, but like round. Yeah, he's yeah. he's all about a hole, and they're like, huh? So this is a description of a hole that is useful. Huh? <laughs> so do we throw stuff in this cave or? <laughs> and how about um? Oh, what is he doing? Ugg is disgruntled by noise and trying to find uh, liquids to be of hair of the dog or bring him back into some kind of mortal plane as his head feels like the army of 10,000 are marching across right now. Okay, well, uh, you are in a an inn, a tavern, so there is a fully stocked bar. Bubbles, Bubbles and Mick Seaweed is happy to get you any um, drink. There is a selection of romantic cocktails as well, or beer, or juice, whatever you want. You can order whatever you would like. Uh, I Ugg would enjoy uh, your favourite cocktail. Surprise to make me <laughs> smile. Okay, so uh, now you're kind of worried after t uh, he goes in the back and he's got about 10 minutes, you can hear like smashing and maybe a little bit of light crying as um, a massive um, head-sized coconut with um, pink sparklers and seems to be bubbling. You can smell lavender and he kind of presents you with this... Uh, 
He calls it his coconut love hole um, surprise, and he says, "This is uh, this will do you do you well." Ugh immediately takes and chugs. Yeah, it's a massive. It's like a gallon of sickly coconut. Ugh, and Ugh is seven. <laughs> Ugh has no problem drinking big drink. Big drink go down real quick. <laughs> There you go. So you managed to drink this. Uh, it's also quite expensive, but we're not going to be mo- uh, worried about money too much in this game. Uh, yeah, that's fine. He puts it on your tab uh, for your room. Bloody meaty. Oh, well, a, a, a little bloody meaty for all. That's what he yeah. means. Is. Bubbles, Bubbles is happy to get you guys any drinks um, as uh, Evie goes up to her room and you guys are kind of left alone. Uh, you do have the postcard. I'm just having the one and drink and we're hitting the road, chaps. Uh, Hugh has the highest charisma out of you guys. Uh, uh, I'm a 12. 12. Anyone higher than 12? 5. <laughs> 14. Uh, oh, 14. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm a paladin and I've got shitty charisma. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Bubbles comes over to you. Maybe you're the more attractive one of the group. Um, and obviously, you bought one of his expensive drinks. Um, but uh, yeah, he's just like, he kind of looks at you guys and he's like, yeah, I don't really trust some of these. Uh... He says, you guys don't look like students. It's like, it's like some of you don't look like maybe you can even read. Um, but we've had quite a lot of students here who haven't been paying their bills. He said we had uh, what he thought was the lovely pair of fairy boys. That's not being offensive. They were actually fairies uh, who left without paying um, a few weeks ago. So, yeah, and before that, there were some two sturdy looking tiefling women who, again, did the same thing. He's like, it's, uh, it's getting a bit peed off with these students coming and... Uh, disappearing and not paying their tabs. He says the same thing happened with uh, Matilda, but luckily her mother came and she's actually paid off Matilda's bill. So, but yeah, she's not really happy with these young couples coming here and, uh, yeah, disappearing and not paying their, their bills. So that's what he tells you, Ugg. But the rest of you guys can obviously hear all this. Ugg tries to console the tavern keeper mm-hmm. and and says, I would never do that to you. <laughs> okay. And asks for another drink. You're going to have to roll me for persuasion to see how much he likes you. Mm. <laughs> gotta be nice to the bartender. You like to be nice. Be nice. <laughs> because they need persuaded, <laughs> I'm getting angry. And I okay. smash my hands onto the table and mm-hmm. say, Ugg must have drink now, in an attempt okay. to intimidate instead of persuasion. Okay, let's see how it goes. So roll me for your intimidation. We'll 21. See. Yeah, he's like, uh, like, looks a little bit scared. He's like, uh, and he goes a little bit submissive. He's like, oh, yes, master. Um, yeah, here you go. And he kind of gets a kneels and... Uh, like, uh, gives you another, goes to make you another of these massive drinks. And, uh, he seems to be rather flustered, uh, and excited at the same time. Uh, uh, but, but you do get another, but you do get another drink. Yes. Ugh, ugh, finish your drink. <laughs> chug. Finish your drink, Ugg. Ugg, chug. Ugg, chug. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyone, anything else would like to do in the uh, tavern before you guys hopefully uh, go to investigate? Is there anything else you would like to do here? I'm just pulling on the wrists. Get on. Uh I think uh, Random's going to go up to the bartender and be like, we would be happy to help you find these uh, tab skippers. Do you have like a statue or like some sort of <laughs> some sort of maybe like sculpture like a bust of any of them that we could we could have to help us out maybe he's like oh i mean he's like i've got some pottery and a tapestry but no statues today uh 
no, no. Uh, roll me for persuasion again as you're trying to ask him if he's got anything. Great. That's a, a dirty one, an unnatural one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, again, whatever cheek you didn't get slapped on, you get another slap on the opposite cheek. And he's just like, creep. And just, he's been like, a cheeky bastard, huh? I'm looking at him as like you, you said you should know enough is that every time you talk to someone you're going to get slapped uh, look, he, he's like a point, permanent mark right here in his face it's like every time he gets slapped so it's a like hand mark, a very yeah it's a permanent hand mark he's like I told you to get a tattoo of it so they, it's easier for them to slap at him. least both sides match now come before you embarrass yourself anymore brother yeah. Ryan yeah, uh, I guess, well, let's go find this girl, and maybe I'll get something out of it. Ugg good at finding people getting money. Ugg can do for you. May I try? Okay. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I persuade you. Give me, give me info. 20. <laughs> did you roll? Did you did you roll a twenty? Are you? I okay? rolled a twenty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you okay? So basically, um, I guess Paul Bubbles has some weird fetish, and he's excited, and then you guys degrade him, and now he's happy again. Um, yeah, he's just like, oh yeah, yes, master, and uh, he's like, well. Um, I do have, uh, I don't have any statues or, or anything like that, but I do have a, a map um, which shows the uh, uh, location of some of the uh, special, he gives you like, special places on the island that people get cozy on. Um, and he marks on uh, where Heart Plunge Caverns is. And it's only about 30 minutes. It's up a small hill uh, through like a, 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 up a, through a small forest. It's about probably 30 minutes probably to get to the top where the Heart Plunge Caverns is. But he does give you a map to try to find your way. Uh, Ugg Ug likes cavern. <laughs> yeah. I thought you said tavern earlier. I thought it was the hard plunge tavern. It's a that makes that makes a lot more sense with the cave lake. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that wasn't over so, being dumb. That was Oliver not hearing you correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So anyone else would you like would like to anything else in the tavern? I mean, bubbles is no. bubbles is the only one left at this point. No, I head out. I'm heading to wherever this girl was supposedly at, I guess. He's still hungover, still, you know, drinking. He brings a mug of, like, uh, water with him and just kind of just chugs it. Mm -hmm. uh, Bub Bubble seems to like, fear, or be aroused by most of you guys. Uh, and he gives you all some uh, traveling coconuts with a nice, salty, creamy, alcoholic drink. In small coconuts with the lids on, you know, so you can travel with them uh, to help you guys on your way. It is a very hot oh, day. So it's a lovely <laughs> bunch of coconuts. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys are happily uh, merry um, as you leave the tavern um, and can. Well, it's up to you how you, you want to do it. Uh, you need to do me a survival check to see, just to make sure you don't get lost. So you can either choose the person who's got the best because you have a map. Uh, whoever uses the map gets advantage as well because you, you know, it shouldn't be too difficult. I had a plus three. I had a plus mm -hmm. five, but only rolled an eight. So oh, I think plus I'm six. Even... I got a plus six. Okay, so I would yeah, imagine. I help out. I help out. Yeah, and you can help out as well. Yeah. Got two. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you you know a little bit more about holes, but not much more than poor Orga. So yes, um, I like stick. Yeah. I oh um... my days! Look at these rolls. <laughs> Five. Uh, you yeah. said if we use the map, we get advantage. <laughs> you do, yes, because Great. obviously marked reasonably well. Good. Someone's getting okay. trouble again. Great. I'm gonna. I took it, and I should not have <laughs> I rolled in that one, and then re-rolled for a three. So that's a nine overall. Well done, okay. uh, Yeah. I mean, I think maybe you guys see some of the places on the map that look interesting. So yeah, you kind of have, you have a lovely you have a lovely morning of 
uh, training like different places, um, you know, lover sleep, uh, make out point, all the cliche things that you managed to find. <laughs> Eventually, after a couple of hours, you find your souls. Um, but what you presume is Heart Plunge Cavern, as there seems to be a... As you walk up the small forest hill, you can see a battered old sign that seems to be heart-shaped, which is now the wrong way up. What Looks you guys like to do? balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will turn the, 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 the sign as we go past, put it the right way up. I'm a, I'm a paladin of love tonight, so the symbol has to be right. Mm -hmm. So as you turn it up, you can see rusted on it does indeed say Heart Plunge Caverns uh, ahead with a small arrow. Um, and, but there seems to be like a, a note or something stuck onto it as well. What does the note say? Um, it is in Elvish. Uh, who speak, anyone speak or read I do. Elvish? I'm in a later in Elf, so I can spell it. <laughs> speak it. There you go. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, it basically just says that the uh, caverns have been condemned for a while, why further works are done on them, and it's quite dangerous inside. Uh, however, these documents do seem to be a good few years old. Um, so, yes. But there does seem to be like a... Mm, kind of like more like what you see, like an animal track that seems to run to a hole. Again, one of you will be still explaining to Org about what a hole is, but there is actually a hole... <laughs> Um, on top of the hill. <laughs> Alright, that's like what? That's a hole. Alright, uh, oh. I guess we gotta take this place out and I head in. Okay. Right. Uh, and the, can you all... Are you the sneaky one that's going out in front, are you? Sorry. Martin. Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, I just need you to all tell me what your passive perception is as well. Okie dokie. Dean. Yeah, 15. Mine 15. is a 13. 14. 11. Nah, you guys don't see anything. Just oh, nice, no. a nice quiet hill with a nice <laughs> hole. What could go wrong? So yes, you do see a dark hole uh, that seems to obviously go into a cavern, but it is pitch black in, uh, in here as well. I will light a torch. Martin, is it possible to hold a torch and your shield? Uh or is that a no-no? It's not, is it? You, you, no, you before can help. You, before you light the torch. Okay. Right, it's dark. I have 60 foot of dark vision. Uh-huh. I don't know. Yes. So, can I not just see? Uh, you, 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 can, you can see if you, yes, but as soon as someone lights a torch, you just see the same as with the torch. Yeah, so don't don't light your torch. I He, he immediately... Sees the torch coming, and I'm like, "No torch, torch bad. I good." Uh, I'm going to say you two, depending unless one of you backs down, you can both roll me for intimidation or persuasion if you want to see who wins. Then it's up to you guys. I'm not going to roll <laughs> on intimidation. I'm going to roll on persuasion. I'm a nice boy. Nice. Yeah, it's the same one. Uh, well, you both roll. See so who gets buddy. the highest. Oh. Okay. So do I, do I need to roll persuasion as well? No, you can choose persuasion or intimidation, depending on how you want to well, do it. I'm intimidating. Go for it. So you got to need a 20 there. I got so 17. Nope. No. So you can, uh, Obo, you can tell us how you uh, win and manage to light your torch. I just absolutely blank. So I can look, just look straight past him, lights a torch, ignores him like he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so again yeah you can see into the cave it does seem to have very slightly pink smooth walls um and you can only see probably about 10 to 20 feet ahead then it seems to go around a corner so you can't see much more unless you went further into the cave august starts to sniff and he's like this smells familiar <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sniff it. Don't want to smell it. I'm just finding who we need to find. <laughs> I, 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 you, see the, you see the rug slips into the cave. Yeah, All right, let's do this. I will go Orga, the or, or, Orga, you can roll for investigation if you want to see what smells familiar. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Let's do it. Let's... Uh, 18. 18. I mean, did you step in something again? I 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a five, so good. if your daddy's not uh, noticed, uh, you you're pretty sure this is what holes smell like. Like that's pretty much the only thing you can be definite, be uh, sure of. I'm pretty sure I stepped in hole. Mm. So, um, I'm going to guys need you to do me a saving throw. Uh, well, I presume all of you are going in the cave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, so can you all do me a dexterity saving throw, please? Oh, I gotta love the... <laughs> 16. Oh. Ah, got a 9. That Six. sucks. Okay, so for anyone who got uh, less than 13, you're going to take some uh, bludgeoning damage. Oh, sorry, you will take bludgeoning damage, but if you uh, got 13 or over, you just take half damage. So let me roll my dice to see how much. That's, uh, it's kind of dark as you get to the corner, and then you hear kind of like a rumble and stuff. Uh, large things start raining down from you from above. Um, as you guys, some of you guys dodge a little bit, some of you don't. And you take... Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage, though if you um, pass the saving throw, it's just half of that. So it'd be 12 or 6, depending uh, what you guys rolled. Ouch. Um, and at this point, you can hear some kind of like, um, it's like a strange yipping noise seems to be coming from further down in the cave. Um, so I'm all going to need you guys to go over to Albert if you're not already on. And I will change the screen and you guys can all roll me for initiative and uh, we'll see what happens. So here we go. Okay. Okay. So the screen should load hopefully soon. Uh, or it'll yeah. just crash and not work. Yep. Um, nice. Yeah. So yeah, you guys can all grab your um, tokens as well, or uh, choose your own. But I have put, I think. Um, five already that roughly should be related to the classes that you guys told me. So, you know, like the druid's got a leaf, etc. So you can um, click on those um, and put your name on it. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I can see some of you put your own things on. So yeah, uh, that's fine. Um, but you can see where you guys all are and I'll just reveal a little bit more of the map. Um, I am going to use that a inspiration that I mentioned earlier for my initiative roll. Wow. That is fine, yes. A bit better. But where's the where's the tokens? Sorry. Uh I think yours is the little act one. Um just at the top, yeah. Yours should be there, I think. Well you can pick any of them. Any of the tokens. There's a leaf, there's a first. Oh, but I can't. Uh, I can't see the the other tokens. I can only see the one, the ones that are here. Oh, okay. Uh, I can get you another token. Uh, uh -huh. Right to add a token, you go to the little library thing at the bottom, and you can add them. So the little four manage images, the little four squares. You can add an image from there. Oh, my light was no. That's not it. That's one media cast it what the fuck there you go uh, ah, so, okay. so you guys can position yourselves um roughly now you guys can see there's some fallen rocks on the picture so you can position yourselves roughly around there um and we will go from there and we'll see uh i just need uh orc what was your initiative it's not come up on my screen but you can just tell me if you wish so I need Ugg, uh, a Dakin, and Ranum. Oh no, Ranum's oh, out. No, they're all coming up. I just need Ugg's hasn't come up. Oh, they've all come up now. That's fine. 
Okay. So, let's see who's going to go first. Uh, first up is not you guys, uh, but Obo out of the party, you're the first one who's going to go. Okay. Um, so be prepared. So let me see. I will zoom in a bit so I can see you guys. Okay. Uh, okay. So, hmm. We can have fun with all of you. So let's see what happens. So... Who is the leaf, or is no one selected the leaf? Just so I know. Oh, I'm I'm the leaf. Okay. Uh, you need to do you need to do me a roll. Okay. So can you do me a uh, wisdom saving throw for me? I most assuredly can. I'm getting it. Okay. The paladin one because I'm talking about made more than one. Uh, sixteen. A sixteen. Okay. So. Let me roll to see if it hits as well. Okay, does a 12 hit? Uh, my AC, yes. Okay. Uh, so yes, uh, you feel this, uh, something fire out from the darkness. Um, but, uh, and it does hit you, and you feel a bit tingly and warm for a second, but you kind of shake it off. You're not really sure what happened. Um, yeah, that's it for now. So you can stay where you are, as I'll go into another one of the attackers. Uh, and that is Obo. So Obo, I'm gonna see, does a 13 hit you? No, it does not. Very good, yeah. You hear something whistling past your head, um, but Obo, I believe it is your turn now. Quick look at his character sheet. Yeah, and coming up after that is one of the monsters, and then it'll be Ogre, Uga, uh, Ranum, and Ugg, and then a Dakin. So, yeah, you guys can start getting ready now. But, yeah, Obo, it is your turn. Okay, so for my bonus action, I'm using a spell. Mm hmm. And uh, remember, yeah, uh, please remember, obviously, um, Obo, you have the torch, so uh, my suggestion is, unless you want to, you can only have like you know a torch in one hand and then a weapon or a, yeah, so I don't you know, have a shield, shield in the other. I don't have my shield if I have the torch. Got yeah. Uh, I well, I can make a suggestion if you want. I would, I'd allow you to use a free action if you said you wanted to kind of like put the torch on the floor, you know, so it would be giving light, but it wouldn't be with you. That, But that is your your choice. I will absolutely do that, mate. So I will put the floor... Yeah. I'll just put it, lay it down behind me with my mm -hmm. bonus action. I'm going to cast that spell on myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was Divine Favour. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to... I need to move back onto the screen to move my guy. Oh. One second, so they just accidentally opened Steam. Yeah, no worries. So he's gonna go to there and attack this one here. Okay, so are you attacking A or B, just so I know? A. Okay, you go yeah. for it. Let me pull up his weapon. Mm. So 7 plus 6, though, 13. Okay, let me see. Did you say 13? 13. Yeah, um, yeah, you kind of struggle because they seem to be hiding behind rocks, so they do seem to have quite a lot of cover, so unfortunately you don't manage to hit them at the moment. Okay. Uh, anything else from your turn? I believe that is end of turn for me. Okay, we are up to one of the other creatures. Oh, I'm gonna. Th oh, I might do that later. I mean, I guess you guys can zoom in. Um, but yeah, I will show you a picture of the things because technically you've not seen them. Um, obviously, you guys can all see because of the torch. Um, but the other creatures are kind of hiding a bit. Um, so let me see. The next one up is B. And B. Yeah, I reckon he could do that. So, Augur, let me see if he can hit you. 
Oh, yeah, he did pretty well. Um, that is a 23 to hit. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, so uh, can you do me a uh, wisdom saving throw for me? Do I want to? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna. Oh, no, I don't. It's a three. Does that no, no. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, you kind of look down and there seems to be a um, heart-shaped arrow that's kind of pierced your heart. Um, so I'm going to not put the onus on you. I'm going to get everyone else to roll me a d20 for me. So everyone apart from Olga, roll me a d20. Sixteen. Okay, anyone higher than sixteen? Okay, sixteen being the highest. Okay, so Orga, I mean, you've probably never thought about your party mate in this way, but he's given you like weird vibes, and for an undisclosed amount of time, you're gonna act like he is your true love. So this doesn't doesn't have any uh, you know direct effects like you get any minuses or stuff. It just means I would expect your character to act in that manner. Um, you know, so you know, if, for example, if you only had one <clears throat> healing spell, of course you're going to heal them. You know, if you were going to save anyone, you would save him. I will let you play it however you wish. I'm not going to really give you any more. It's more for flavor. But yes, for an undisclosed amount of time, they are your true... You feel they are their true love. And also, um, Obo, you don't know this at all at this point. Or Aww. possibly or possibly ever. Oh. <laughs> Well, you might know that something's up, so that is for Orga to possibly roleplay very shortly. Um, yes, um, and actually, Orga, it is your turn. Um, oh. <laughs> well. so, there you go. Do you want to put a bit of flavor onto possibly anything? Got hit with this arrow. Well, looking at Oba over there, like. What is that shell over there? Is there room in there for me? I'm just going to waltz up, kind of spin around, play a little tune on my on my loop. What are we doing here again? We getting out of this cave? We are in a fight. A fight with some evil bad guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess we can deal with that first. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing, though? How are you doing? You need healing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing okay, thank you for your assistance. It's good to see you behind me. Good, yeah, it's it's good behind you, let me tell you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so, I did um... warn you guys, so I was hoping that some of you get struck. Uh, so, yeah, Orga, I'm going to give you an inspiration point for play being the first one for it to happen to and playing it so well. Uh, but you can still do all your normal actions and stuff as well, but just give it a bit of flavor. Uh, so, you're, yeah. Um, let's see. Um, well, I'm going to try to put, I'm going to cast sleep on the enemy. Okay. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. So, if I can remember, the sleep spell basically automatically hits, um, and it takes seventeen point uh, seventeen points of if their HP, doesn't it? Um. So, yeah. Unfortunately for you, uh, these guys seem pretty energetic. Um, and yeah, the sleep spell doesn't seem to work at this time. It does activate, but it doesn't seem to, yeah, seem to fully penetrate them. Well, my spell didn't penetrate, but maybe I can. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you should have used, used that spell on someone else, and then maybe you could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can see you're right in the spirit of the channel straight away. 
George. Welcome, uh, welcome uh, to the team. So, uh, is there anything else? Any bonus actions or movement you would like to do? Um, let me check my bonus action. I nearly said it's, it's going to be hard because it's very cramped in the hole, but that was literally because it's actually a description. Um, <laughs> it's a bit, yeah. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> I'm going to cast uh -huh. the Bardic Inspiration on, you know, with my little loot while I'm, like, tiptoeing away. My whip is waving <laughs> in, the, in the air. <laughs> And that bardic inspiration oboe's way. Oh, is yeah. it a romantic song? Do you want to elaborate? Can you play romantic it, bagpipe um, music? Is that a thing? All bagpipe music is romantic, Martin. What are you sorry, talking sorry. about? Yeah, what are yeah. you talking about? Sorry. Yeah, it's <laughs> automat <laughs> automatically the music of love. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Well, it most it sounds like screeches, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> So, Obo, yes, you do have a bardic inspiration um, from your friend, who, again, at this time, you presume is just your friend. I've never um, been so inspired from that, that, <laughs> that romantic ballad on the bagpipes. Nothing inspires me more. You know this. Fantastic. Very good. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> coming up next is uh, Ranum, and then, Ugg, it is your turn. Awesome. Uh... Can I hit all of these guys with an entangle? I think you can, yes. The, the square is big enough. I'm just, I'm worried. I don't know if I can see them. Yeah, um, look, whatever. yeah, because of the torch, look, I would imagine, yeah, it's kind of freed up. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll allow it. You, or you can move a bit closer, but yeah, no, they're, they're not hiding. They just seem to be, they're behind some rocks more for cover than for hiding, yes. Okay, cool. Then uh, that is the plan. They're going to have to make mm -hmm. uh, strength saving throws. Okay. Um, creature in the area, when you cast a spell, um, strength saving throw DC 14. Okay. Fail. Fail. Oh, pass. Fail. Uh, apart, uh, they all are entangled apart from C, so Connor is fine. The rest of them are all entangled, which I guess means they uh, can't move. I'm presuming that is what the spell is. Yeah, they are uh, restrained. They can use an action on their turn to mm -hmm. uh, attempt to unrestrain themselves. It's just the DC again. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So, yep. Okay. Oh, and then you have the blah, what is it? Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, so you guys will have advantage, mm. I presume. Yeah, I'm yep. just reading the one stat. Uh, and the creature has disadvantage on dexterity. So, yeah, so just remind me, you guys pretty much all have advantage on three of the creatures if you do to, to uh, do try to attack them. Nice. Okay. Anything else? Um... I, th I don't have much by way of bonus actions. Uh, Flavor-wise, are we cool to um, say that it's like, uh, sort of like, I don't know, dark bioluminescent seaweed that wraps around their leg, just from a flavor perspective? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I always encourage, uh, please put any spins on your spells or attacks to make it yours. Yeah, that's very cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're technically on an island, so I'm sure there's, like, something in here. Yeah. Yeah, Randoms yeah. From, like, Randoms yeah. from, like, the, like, Dark, like deep dark part of the sea that, uh, um, and so a lot of his spells are going to be sort of characterized in that way. But I think cool. beyond that, I am about done. Very good. So, yeah, you guys see uh, some things, creatures behind these rocks seem to be wrapped up. Um, but next we have Ugg, and then Adakin, you'll be coming up as well. So, Ugg, what would you like to do? Ugg seeing enemy. Ugh, get rage, real angry, real mad. So I use that as my bonus action. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Ugh now decides to approach the A character mm -hmm. and attack with club. Okay. And you have advantage on that as well. I have advantage, yes. Mm -hmm. Plus two, plus mm -hmm. two. Okay. 13 plus 2, mm -hmm. 16. 15. 
Festi. Ogno marat. Chris, 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 no math either. I don't think, but uh, Chris, no math. <laughs> but uh, yeah, unfortunately for you again, the the stones are quite big. Uh, you know, so you unfortunately you don't manage to hit them. Ugg gets annoyed by this and goes into frenzy. Tries okay. again. Go for it. A twenty. Uh, this three. time, yeah. This time you manage to. However, you wish to do, you manage to get the. I don't know what weapon are you using to attack. Club. A club. Okay, your club managed to get one. So yeah, you can roll for damage. It. Eight points of damage. Okay, very good. Yeah, so you managed to clip this uh, strange... Now you can see it a bit more. It seems to look like a small small dragon with wings and a bow and uh, kind of a little white diaper on it as well. It's... Oh God, what are these things called? Like, uh, cute... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like like, like kobolds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll share the info if anyone's interested. It's a very cool little character, and I'll maybe pop the bigger picture up later for people to see. I can blow it Wait. up for people to see. Look, I'll blow up a bigger picture for Obo. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have a like a statue of this creature I could look at or something? Some sort of yeah. Of <laughs> You like a tactile learner or something? I just, I am a little bit uh, kinesthetic for sure. Yeah, that's fine. So, no, they're, they're cool. They're cool looking. The person who wrote this, uh, yeah, good. clearly put, made a lot of that effort. Uh, yes, very good. Uh, Ugg, anything else you want to do in your turn? Um, Ugg attacked. Ugg frenzy. Ugg. Uh... No I'll go stay. I'll go stay. I'll get stays there. Very good. Okay. Up next is Adaken. Uh, it is your turn. What would you like to do? I want to snake to. I can't even click on a token. Am I going to click on something else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes it can be a bit clunky. You need to make sure the hand thing's on the right selected, and then you can move. Yeah, it's not letting me move it for some reason. Okay, I will. Uh, you can just tell me where you want to go if you want. Um, uh, yeah, I was going to go right here. Um, okay. I'm going to use uh, stealth, and I want to sneak attack uh, B. B, okay, very good. Okay, um, I don't know, does that give me, I don't think, that, does a sneak attack give me, like, an advantage of hiding from them, or what? Um, usually you get, uh, extra damage points, um, as long as there's a character nearby, which there is, so yeah, you'd get the sneak attack, yes. Okay. If you've got advantage, uh, right. yeah. Okay, let me see. I'm using a, my bow... And that's going to be a miss. It's a seven. Seven? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it does hit off one of the rocks in front of the creatures. Uh, anything else you'd like to do in your turn? Nope, that's it. Okay, very good. We are on to a D. And yeah, I think he could get you. So let's see. Oh, what am I doing that's going to hit? Uh, a day can you again hear something whistling towards you, but I highly die, doubt a nine's going to hit you. So I'm presuming that misses. Yeah, yeah Max. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We are back up to the top of the round, which is going to be the creatures so let's see how if they have any fun with you guys this time so let's see who they can see so yeah so look does a uh does a 19 hit 
Uh, they should have disadvantage. I don't know if you rolled. I saw you rolled twice. They should have disadvantage if they are entangled. Yeah. A and B. Oh them. yes, they do. So. Sorry, uh, not trying to back CTM. No, 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 no. It's called they have something that gives them that, but then yours is correct. So I'll have to take the first roll, which is a nineteen. Yeah, so they're just normal. So yeah, it's still a nineteen, but yes, that is correct. Um. So Ugg, does a nineteen hit? It's disappeared. I would assume it does. Okay, well... Yeah, he might be falling in love with someone soon. Um, so we will see what happens to him. Oh, uh, good hit. Oh, good hit. Okay. Uh, Ugg, uh, can you roll me a uh, wisdom saving throw? Oh. oh. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, you get that weird tingly feeling that one of your friends has had. So can everyone else all roll me a d20 apart from Chris to see who's Chris, his gaze happens to land upon. Oh, 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 oh. Who's is the highest? I rolled a crit, 20. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Sexy Paladin. Anyone else get a natural 20? Okay, uh, Ugg, <laughs> you get weird feelings for Obo, like, yeah, just, you don't know what's happened, but again, you felt something pierce you right in the heart, and you kind of feel warm and fuzzy towards one of your friends. Again, you don't know at the moment what's happened to Org as well, so that'll be fun later. Um, very good. Next up, we have another of them, but unless you stay, they have... Nothing. Do, um, do I take any damage from that, or is it just the, no, the just, love? Okay. Just, wrote, just love? Just love damage. Just love damage. Okay, uh, next up. Who else have they got in the thing? Uh, Obo, can you? Yeah, does a 15 hit? No. Okay, same thing. You see something whistle past, and yeah, it doesn't manage to strike you. Or bounces off my shell at this point because I'm in mm -hmm. armor class. So yeah, yeah, it doesn't does not hit it's you. Like armor getting that. Okay, and Obo, it is your turn. Obo will doesn't need to move really to attack. He's going to go for B this time. Okay. Through the twenty-five. It does hit. Minimum damage for five. Uh, and remember, you have. Uh, you said you were attacking B, right? So yeah. you'd have advantage. I'd have advantage. Do I need to roll again if I rolled a crit? Uh, no, not really. Not if you got a crit. That's fine. I suppose just for technicality. Yeah. Well. You yeah. got to roll a 20 and a 1, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, get, that, get those wands out, we don't want those. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> quite right, yeah, get out when you've got advantage, that's a good one. So, I uh, got five damage on that, Martinez, okay. um, and as my bonus action, what have I got? Uh, oh, one more thing before uh, the Divine Favour does an extra 1d4 radiant damage, so I've got to roll 1d4. <laughs> <clears throat> from my spell before. That's three damage from that. And then from my bonus action this time I'm going to cast Shield of Faith mm -hmm. on uh, myself giving me plus two armor class for the next uh, up to ten minutes as long as I don't lose concentration. So okay. I have and did you... And did you say uh, the creature takes some radiant damage as well? Yeah, I think it was a row boys three, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, three. Yeah, three, three on top. Radiant damage. Okay. okay, yeah, I've taken that off. Um, do you want to give it some flavour as you strike the creature with your uh, weapon and magical ability? Okay, so um, Obo is a paladin of love for this mission. So uh, when he hits with his longsword, uh, the radiant damage is in the form of little pink hearts bursting out 
little images of little pink hearts burst out and they splash and it like burns the radiant damage onto these evil creatures, the little love hearts. There you go. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I ask what Og and Org think of their special friend doing this? Og never seen the like. Og <laughs> really, really want fuck. <laughs> mm, up in the turtle. Okay, have fun with that. That started so wholesome uh, and then went so quickly. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just, for fun. I'm gonna. Uh, or oh, how about you? What do you think as you see your very special friend uh, hit something? Uh, I always had hearts in my eyes. Oh, no. I don't know who Senor over here thinks he is hitting on my man, but it's... <laughs> uh, uh, Ugg, Ugg is right beside the event just unfolded, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I uh, reach over and stroke long sword and say, Wow. <laughs> Never see you with such long sword. <laughs> Obo gives him a very confused look and then thinks, "Okay, Ugg, thank you." Thinks it's a compliment, still doesn't get it. No. no. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Okay, let's see who else is up. So just a bit of flavour. I did warn you guys, so I thank you guys. I will allow. Um, Okay, you can have an inspiration point for playing your what you said you were gonna do. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh god, okay. fuck. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay. Um, <sighs> I thought I forgot where else. So we did Obo, and then yeah, it's one of the other things. So Org, Orga, you're coming up, and Random and Ug, uh, but it is one of the creatures' turns next. Uh, let's see if we can have any more shenanigans with you guys. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to go for you, Rana. And that's going to be a... Oh, that's pretty good. That's a 20 to hit. Does that hit? Yep. Okay, can you do me, yep. a, wi- can you do me a wisdom saving throw? Happy to. How we doing? Okay, 24. Ooh. Oh, no. Again. No. Yeah, you get hit and you get a tingly feeling, but nah, nothing, nothing more than a tingle. Don't don't feel anything else. Tingle Pringle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're up to your guys' turns. It will the three of you. So Auga, it is your turn. Well, Auga, now knowing that he has competition, is going to cast mirror <laughs> image. Mm-hmm. A perfect mirror's image of Obo over by Og. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm just going to be like, have fun with that, Og. And I'm going <laughs> to slide back up here. And just be like, there's only room in that shell for two. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to cast Mantle of Inspiration. Spend one bar okay. of inspiration to grant five temporary HP. Up to three creatures that you can see uh, within 60 feet. And then they can immediately use their reaction to move up to their speed without provoking opportunity attacks. Mm-hmm. And who are you giving this to? Um, Obo, of course. Just... Um, <laughs> and let's see. So did you say oh. three people? Um, Yeah, three people. I know who you're not giving it to, so... <laughs> You're not giving the Ugg his competition. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get shit. <laughs> I'll give you the other two. I'm like, you let the other two have it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Ugg got a perfect mirror image. He's He got a gift. <laughs> he got a gift. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it'll go to the other two, yeah. Question, Martin. I mean, that's... With that movement, yeah. that doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity. Could I get to the back? Yes, follow uh, Yeah. Me. Um, yeah, if that's yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, so you can't provoke. So you could move past the 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 rocks can be moved past. Yeah, so yeah, you could move. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's space for both of us, but I was going to ask to do the same thing. Uh, so if there is, uh, I would like to know. If not, then don't worry about it. 
No, no, I'd say the uh, the map was hard to load up a little bit, but yeah, I'd say you could get two two normal sized people uh, in in the cave. So yeah, another person could move there as well. Yeah. Hell yeah. Then if I may. Mhm. Mm Am I right there? There you go. Where are you a dwarf? Make it make your token a little bit smaller. <laughs> Get small. <laughs> Get small. It's not the size uh, of the token. It's how you use it. <laughs> so, Orga, I think that's all your turn. So, random, it is your turn. Nice. Okay. Um, I am not doing great on health, and they are firing a lot of arrows at me. Uh, mm -hmm. So, I think that we are going to use... Um, there are a lot of them, though. Okay, uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, ice knife them. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to ice knife. Uh, I think if I hit... I don't know if there's a way for me to do that. Sorry, that was out the side of my mouth and did not make any sense. <laughs> uh, is there a spot that I can hit without having to worry about my friends getting in the... Uh, the zone? Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm having a hard time figuring out owlbears. Is there a way to yeah. zoom in? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, just like on normal. I think you have to just like do it on your computer though, like you'd zoom in on a picture, like oh, there's sure. nothing on owlbear. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, I mean, I think ice knife, is it about five feet or ten feet for the radius, I think? Yeah, it's uh, so it'll hit the target and then five feet away from it. Um, yeah, if you hit, if you went dead in the center, you probably okay. hit all of them. Yeah, if it, if it'll hit okay. three of them, yeah, you could, and it wouldn't hit any of your friends. Yeah, that's fine. I'd miss out on that one d10. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, hit the one next to hit A, okay. uh, who is next to Ugg, who I imagine can take it. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> All right, so that's going to be a to hit roll. Undeads attacked by rocks when we come in here, and not you. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. Uh, that's going to be a 14 to hit. Okay. Now, you just have to tell me, because, I mean, they do have extra cover, but I guess because it's a spell, I don't think um, the rocks would probably cover the spell. Well, that's how I'm going to rule it. So, yes, it does indeed hit. So r tell me what I need to roll for damage, if there's any saving throws or et cetera. Uh, so it's 1d10 to A, which is 2, sure. Um, and then dex saving throws for everybody within 5 feet, um, which includes A. And then okay. if they fail, it'll be 2d6. Uh, okay, and sorry, what saving throw do I need to do, sorry? Dex. Dexterity, okay. Okay. Does Ugg need My to bad, there's a lot going on. As well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm not doing great. On the plus side, all of them should have disadvantage because of the entangle. Yeah! They all rolled ridiculously badly, so they all take the take the extra damage. So what is that? Uh, it's 2d6. Mm-hmm. All right. And that's going to be... 8. Whoa, 8 points each. Eight. Okay. So yeah, you can add a bit of flavor if you want because it basically blasts all of them. Yeah, uh, so I think um, there is a, like a literal knife that just sort of of ice that appears in uh, I forgot my own character's name, guys. I forgot. <laughs> Random. I'm playing Random's hand. Uh, it's sort of like uh, his like bioluminescent hands. He chucks it and then uh, into the person and then little uh, like uh, sort of seaweedy icicles sort of spread out in an explosion of that. Mm, very good, yeah. So you guys see, uh, yes, nice crystallized forms. You just tried to uh, I don't know why I thought you were a dwarf earlier. <laughs> I I made a dwarf originally, and then I saw some extra cool stuff, Did and I change? wanted a right, change okay. to a triton. Oh, yeah, I gave you guys, shared all my stuff, so I'm glad you guys, yeah, if any of you saw it, you could use any of the stuff to make whatever you wanted. Um, okay. Ugg oh, um, uh, rolled 20, by the way. Ugg rolled 20. Just to yeah. make a big thing out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Feel safe um, for him. Yep, and I... Yeah, and it's... it's So, Ugg takes no damage then. Mm-hmm. 
so, uh, Ugg, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Ugg's still enraged. Ugg would like to attack A. Okay. Uh, with club. Okay. Rolling. Mm-hmm. 20 hit. Nice. It does hit. Damage. Seven. Still got advantage, so roll again in case you get a crit. Uh, roll which one? The attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. 24. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, what was the damage, did you say? Seven. Yeah, it's dead. Tell us how you kill the first of the creatures. Ugg gets club and shoves it directly where the sun does not shine of monster and slams against rocks as hard as possible. So is now covered in love juice. Oh, try and impress his adoring oboe. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking at my oboe and I'm like, I'm shaking my head. I'm glad I'm not him. <laughs> With the Thanks creature. for splattering me in love juice. I appreciate that. With the creature's dying breath, it just moves Team Orga. As he dies. <laughs> 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 Not that he's a shipper. <laughs> oh my days. It's so, going like... <laughs> our A is dead. Mm-hmm. Is B dead? No, just A is dead. Okay. With loads of huspa and having such a good time immediately in the frenzy attacks B okay go for it and you get advantage because it's restrained with the uh, bioluminescent plant 18 plus 7 I'll do the second one yeah that hits okay 25 and mm-hmm. uh, you can't re-roll damage can you no. Not really, no. Seven. Okay, Sam. Yep, you kill another one. Tell us how you want to kill the ah. next one. Doing this time, he looks at it like a big piñata and wants to get sweeties for his beloved. So, cracks it as hard as possible across with the vine snapping around him meaning that the bug dragon insect thing squish and splash all over himself in oboe <laughs> more love juice <laughs> more love I, I'm like I think these two are going to probably need a room to themselves or something <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's very good. Anything else Ugg, you would like to do? Um, let, let, let me just double check in case there's actually something no I can do as my bonus action. Because you, prob- you could probably move. I, I can move, but where do I really want to move to? Because I really just want to fuck it. <laughs> well, that's for later. You, you are in the middle of the night. Ogre, like, the orc looking at him like, <laughs> he's like, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> You're still frenzy, right? Um, still frenzy, yeah. You just killed two guys to get five feet closer to me. Yeah, which would give you a third attack if you moved closer and got you could attack a third one. If oh, I'm three attacks, sorry. does that? That's what that's what frenzy does, doesn't it? Uh, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've since I've five uh, eat. I'm so sorry. N- I, uh, I don't think it's one don't... bonus attack. One bonus. Yeah, you might get it later okay. on. You might get. Oh, you might get extra you're right. Later on, you're yeah, right. Yeah, he gets later later on. Oh, he gets the next. Everybody gets the next attack later on. That's what it you're is. Right. Uh, We're not five level, fifth level yet. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. It's it's fine. It's fine. Um. It's so, um, I clamber on top of the rocks so that I can have better view of my beloved. Very nice, yes. That's He's fine. Like, yeah. He's like, nobody would see me. <laughs> and I am my turn. 
very good. Okay, up ne- next is a Daken. What would you like to do? Um, I want to sneak attack the, the D. Okay. All right. Let's see. I I I'm just you know he he's just kind of looking around, kind of just. I don't know if he really noticed the two swooning over uh, the turtle. So mm-hmm. he. Yeah, all right, so this is... I know I get advantage of hitting it because it's tangled, so this is the first attempt. Oh, there you go. Now, that's a good hit. A 23. I just want to double check for roll damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's still... It hit. Uh, so, I'm going to do the damage okay. first this. Mm-hmm. This is from... Yep. That is... Five piercing, so 11 points of damage. Okay, and is that to C or D? Uh, that's D. D, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, uh, do you want to put a bit more flavor on it? It's not looking good. Uh, so he's just sitting there kind of right there. He's, like, you know, looking at the big orc going, like, you're, you know, flexing. I'm just, so he's kind of, like, sitting there, kind of bend the arrow, not bullet, bend the arrow, kind of go up and not hit his friend. So he just shoots her right in the, uh, shoulder. Very good. <laughs> Okay, so coming up next is oh, he's still alive. Let's see. Uh, yes, he's gonna look. He looks at you, Dick, and, and he just goes like, I'm "Gonna give you some love." Let's see if he manages <laughs> to actually, actually hit. Ugh, doubt it. That is a thirteen to hit. Was that a C or D? Um, that was. Hold on, D. I think. We've got disadvantage. Uh, yeah, I roll with disadvantage. That's why they rolled so shit. <laughs> nice. So, but yeah, again, you see something uh, heart looking uh, fly past you, but does not strike you. Um, back to the top. Um, uh, oh, one of them is still alive. He's going to do the same trick that they've been doing. They've not actually caused any of you any damage. Um, and. Let's see if we can get one of the rest of you guys to fall in love. Um, yeah, taking it's not working. Yeah, you guys are pretty good. I don't know if I can mess around with anyone else to uh, get you guys to fall in love with anyone else. I mean, you still, got the, you still got the druid down there to fall in love with the turtle. Yeah, he's pretty wise, though, being a druid. So I'm like, do I really want to waste the last yeah. thing on him? You can try and hit I get me. hit I've a just, lot. I've just buffed my armor class. I don't want to be falling in love with anyone. <laughs> you can try and get me. So now, fuck it, they're going to do a Daken. Uh, sorry, uh, can Orga and Og roll me a d20 to see who he's going to use his arrow on? Why are we last to roll? I... <laughs> you that just roll me a D20. really set the mood for me. I... Okay. Ma, 11. 11? Okay, so you've got higher. I think he's going for you. Okay, that is a... Even my brain saw it. Uh, uh, oh, does a 17 hit? Yes. Uh, can again, everyone apart from Ugg, all roll me um, a d20 to see who Ugg falls in love with, or maybe he'll have super love with one of the characters. We'll find out. Oh, I only rolled a four this time. Super love? Gonna not be mm-hmm. sure change. Is anyone higher than a six? <laughs> I rolled a three, I'm good. Okay. I don't want that. I don't want them to see Ugg. Ugg, what did you get? An eleven. <laughs> oh, 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 oh appar- apparently whatever your beliefs are you can love two people at the same time and yeah Og's looking pretty good too Og just won't fuck love is yeah. fuck <laughs> Og won't give fuck Og will give fuck <laughs> uh, Og you have uh, yes equal amount of love for these two people uh, and um Obo, it is your turn. Okay. Obo. And then Org and Ranum and Org, your turns are coming up pretty fast as well. Okay, let me just pull up some okay. character sheet here. So he's got his 
his armor class is already buffed and he gets this extra 1d4 if he hits so he's going to be doing that he's going to try and hit um i'll go for the restrained one first i suppose because i've got advantage mm -hmm. Fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Let me check. Where are you? Because you might have bypassed. Uh, da, da, da. Oh yeah, because you're behind them now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So they don't have the protection yet. So it does hit. Yes. Okay. So the damage is three slashing plus. Mm -hmm. It's two. One radiant. Okay, so four turned up. Another little love heart bubble pops and psh, splash burns up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you still hurt him a bit, but he's still standing, unfortunately. Um, anything else, you, any movement, etc. you want to do on your turn? Or any healing? I think some of your friends aren't looking great. Yeah, so I... can I do any of this healing at a distance? Let me have a quick look at my character sheet again. Yeah, I think Lay on Hands is usually when you're near someone, but you might have other spells uh, that are the distance one. Lay on Hands is an action, I think, rather than a reaction. Okay. So I don't think I can do that. Um... Uh, Oliver, is your strength a plus four? Oh. Uh, when I hit with a melee weapon attack, I can expend one spell slot to deal 2d4 extra radiant damage. Mm-hmm. You so can do that. If, I'll allow you to do that if you want to do I that. I could actually do another 2d4, a uh, 2d8 okay. radiant damage to this guy, so I'm going to do that. Okay. I think it's my last spell slot used, though. No, I'm not going to... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. 2d4. No, it's 2d8, wasn't it? Sorry. Yeah, you said 2d8, yeah. Okay, hang on, I need to cancel them. So another 11 radiant damage. And that's... Uh, yeah, tell us how you kill, kill the creature. Well, it was all radiant damage, so it's all just those little red, little pink love hearts splashing and bursting all over them, and the radiant damage looks like it's acid burning them, but it's the love, the power of love <laughs> killing this evil creature. Ah, I'm melting, I'm melting, I'm melting. Uh, yeah, poor Connor is dead. Uh, anything else you would like to do in your turn? Uh, so, just checking. How many spell slots should a level three paladin have? Mm, three. I'm not. Yeah, you don't get that many at level three. Yeah. I think that's me used double spell slots. I just don't. I'm not sure how to check. Oh, hang on. Let me double check here. Um, yeah, I have used them all. It's three. They're all used. Okay. Uh, so movement wise, let me just switch screens. I am going to. Just do that. Okay, very good. Uh, Org, it is your turn. And again, you might have seen someone who you previously thought you didn't like, now looking at you slightly differently. Mm. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to tiptoe. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, well. oh, between the two, playing a little... little... Oh, my... my... A bagpipe? I don't know. I can't make bagpipe noises. <laughs> just, just scream really loud while Oliver's not here, so we know what you are thinking about bagpipes. <laughs> but I, I just want to know: Have you two ever heard of what's called a human triangle? Or uh, menage trois? Menage trois? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna like, talk to you both so hard. <laughs> Ah, well, there's only room in the shell for two, but I think we can we can reach around. I'll, I'll go okay to watch and then take turn on each. Oh god, ah, the old classic wagon that it is. <laughs> Did they have trains then? Because I don't know if we call it a train. Well, I mean, it, you could call it a caravan. It's like doing the old caravan. Yeah, a caravan, I think, would be more in, yeah, more in fantasy caravan. theme, yeah. You can caravan each other if you, if you want. Or Daisy Jane, I think oh. that's the thing. I am it. never going to the bathroom mid-game again. I don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's in here listening yeah, the whole thing through. Like, I can hear the headphones are wireless. Yeah. Hmm. 
Um, very, boys. very good. Uh, so, Orga, any sorry, we were just literally role playing. So, Orga, anything actions or bonus actions you would like to do in your turn? Sorry, man, I already did. Well, I'm oh, do you do everything? everything I wanted to do, but I guess I can't attack if something needs to die. Um, there is one creature left, yes. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, let's, let's get out of here, avoid that ugly piece of winged whatever that is. Um, vicious mockery, this guy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Where is the vicious mockery? Mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, I want to say charisma saving throw. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, charisma saving throw. Okay. That is it. And 15. Wisdom. Oh, wisdom saving throw. Okay, they're not good at that. Um, uh, yeah, that's doing pretty well. Uh, that is a uh, 17. Oh, well, yeah, they, they they just come. I didn't put any effort into it. I was too busy putting <laughs> effort into these two right here. <laughs> All right. Um, and that's my turn. I'm going to save my last bardic inspiration. Very good. Okay, up next we have... Uh, Random, it is your turn. And then, Ugg, it is your turn. Um, I, I think Random sees what's happening here and just doesn't have the, like, social ability to deal with it with that five <laughs> charisma. So he's just going to turn his back like he doesn't know and then uh, cast Shillelagh. Um, mm -hmm. And he's going to try and take this guy out. Uh, so Shillelagh okay. is a bonus action. And then attack as an action. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, can we hit? Uh, do I still have the advantage, or is this the guy that did not? Uh, he's the one you don't, unfortunately. Yeah, he's the only one who didn't get uh, wrapped up in the vines and stuff. Okay, only a twenty-two to hit then. You're, you're fine again. He's not the <laughs> the, the, the uh, ugh, boulders in front of him, so he doesn't have that extra. So yeah, it hits more for damage. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Uh, eight. Yep, he's dead. Tell us how you killed this one. Nice. nice. So I think uh, turns his back and then um, pulls out a, a like sort of corally type uh, long stick um, with a, a little like uh, anglerfish antenna on the top, and then mm -hmm. just baseball bat swing, uh, and that's that's all she wrote for. Just like I don't think any parts come loose or anything, but just like <laughs> a, a, a severe bit of uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, blunt force trauma and <laughs> falls to the ground. Oh, I guess you guys have to use that wood. Good. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So, uh, uh, I was to say unfortunately, but no, you guys can all come out of initiative. I would imagine some of you have a lot to talk about. Um, yes. Uh, yes. As uh, as they're talking to her, I'm gonna see if I can find a special arrow. These things are shooting. I'm just sticking them in her quiver. And then, you, know, <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you see him like, all right, this might be useful later. <laughs> yeah, you offer. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come around to each of you. Can tell me what you're doing. So yeah, Max. Uh, yeah, roll me for investigation uh, to see okay. what you can pick up as you run around to see what you can get. Okay. Nice. I got a 20. Oh, very good. Uh, you do indeed find some of the uh, the arrows. They, uh, yeah, they seem to be quietly finely crafted. They do have like like a little pink heart on the end. So, um, yeah, roll me, for, roll me an arcana check to see if you can figure anything out. Okay. Uh, now 20, 24. Yeah, uh, you're pretty sure you saw the kind of uh, the creatures glow a bit. You think it's more a magical ability uh, than that the arrows are actually love arrows, unfortunately. But there are still many arrows. Roll me a d20, and that's how many arrows you find. Okay. I mean, that's at least some mixer arrows. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, and they are, they, they don't give you any benefit, but you can put a bit of flavor there. Very pretty. They just don't. Yeah, that's four, yeah. four arrows. It's like, okay, that's cool. You have four pretty arrows. Right. The arrows of love. 
<laughs> yeah, he's gonna see what's the duration. So I'm sitting there looking at the three love birds, kind of like, mm-hmm. and I look over to, at the <laughs> the other one, and <laughs> the druid, kind of like. Are okay. they okay? still oblivious. Obo's not a love bird. Obo's oblivious. Oh, no. Max, <laughs> did, Max, <laughs> Max, you did roll quite high for your arcana check, so I'm going to say probably with that, you would reckon that this, whatever shenanigans have gone on with this magical force, you don't think it's permanent, though whether you tell your friends this is up to you, but you're pretty sure this is probably going to just last a few hours. But that's what you. Uh, yeah, I was like, uh, I, I really don't know. So, uh, yeah, I look, I look at say, so uh, I, I need some healing. I, I, got, I took a little bit of the uh, uh, I can damage. That. Yeah, I took like twelve. I'm like half health. Okay, and I believe I can just give him twelve. If I've got a, a pool of fifteen, I could just hand out twelve, right? Have twelve, mm-hmm. my friends. Yeah. As limit. long as right. you're. Giving out healing, I could use some as well. Okay, well, hang on, I'll flavor it then. So he will go up to uh, Adkin and he will (laughs) (laughs) pat him up. Slap him? He slaps him really. It looks like he's going to slap him hard, but then he very gently pats him on the bottom. (laughs) <laughs> and that's how I do a lay on hands. Good job, buddy. Good little, job. Uh, good job, buddy. Like like coach on the on the when you're a team right. member, you come past coach, gives you that playful slap on the booty. I will give you one of them. There you go. There's your twelve. Who else needed? Uh, what was it? Thirteen you needed, right? I need heal. Was it thirteen you needed, Max? I just needed twelve. Right, okay. I so just twelve. I've, I've got three left. Who wants? It, who wanted it? I believe. Uh, Ranum asked first. Was it? Yeah, so you get I, you I, get three. I yeah, but make sure you mark off all slots, etc., or the etc. Have done. So that's my Leon hands pool is empty. Trips. Okay. Uh, uh, Olga, how about you? What are you doing um, after this fight? Um. Well, I was going to suggest we take a short rest. You know, the three of us kind of over there. <laughs> Just three of you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like, so uh, like, I'll let you guys have it. We're going to sit over here. <laughs> He's going to grenade the tortoise. It's like, <laughs> I'm like, we're just going to sit with our room. No, 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 no. There, there's a whole room over here. There's a whole area right in the back right there. So, look, you can have fun way back there. We'll sit right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this one again. took a whole direction, eh? <laughs> 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 Love it. So, uh, Olga is keen for a, a some form of rest. I remember, rest doesn't mean you can't do any strenuous physical activity. So good. You'd pump. You'd Aww. have to just lie there. Technically, one of you could probably get away with it. Well, it's only a ten minute rest if you do a few minutes. So ten minutes and yawn. I was like, all right, ten minutes. We'll just rest and the rest and like yeah. I'll throw rest for an hour. I'll be done in thirty seconds. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> just nudge, Ugg. Uh, Obo, I think you've been healing, but is there anything else you would want to do on your turn apart from healing people? Obviously, you might have noticed your friends acting strangely. No, all spell slots are um, used up, so I can't do anything more, but and, um, and my lay on hands is used up. In fact, what he's going to do, because he's used all his healing on everybody else, he's going to drink his healing potion for himself. Very reasonable. What do I get? 1d... 2d4 No, it's 2d4 plus 2. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ranum, how about you? Anything you... What would you be doing at this point? Uh, I think... Um... Nine back. Uh... <laughs> Ranum is gonna do... Uh, similar to what, uh, Adkin did. Um... Uh, sort of look around, see if uh, he can figure it all out. The other thing on his to-do list is to go uh, uh, grab his coconut that mysteriously disappeared, and I presume we we put down at the beginning of the cave. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, I would, yeah, yeah, unless you put it in your backpack, yeah, you can go and get your coconut. That is fine. Great. Um, I think there's there's a definite, like, there's not a whole lot of grace to the way he goes about it. It's sort of, like, is still getting used to walking on land, but also, like, in that way that there's an awkward situation. You're like, okay, well, I'm just going to go get a drink now. 
and you remove yourself from it. I think that's sort of the vibe that uh, Random's giving off. Um, but there's nothing really specific I want to do beyond okay. that. Okay, and to finish this off, Ugg, how about what would you like to be doing? Ugg, uh, is... <laughs> <laughs> Ugg is stroking the crevasses of uh, <clears throat> Oboe's shell. Okay. And rotating his finger along the navel of Ogga. At the same time, just Cla- classy. Classy. having a deep look and just loving his life. <laughs> Made all the all the right choices. Um, I will allow Orga and Obo to do a um, dexterity uh, roll to see if you can dodge this, or if you can automatically fail it as well. It is up to you. You. Yeah, please. Dodge dexterity saving throw or dexterity roll. I'd, I'd, I'd say I'll let you do a roll. Would he be dog. able to do that? Can he see from behind? Not I'm 20, 21. It. So, uh, yeah, same for you. Ugg, can you roll me a dexterity roll to see if you can... Save him for a... No, just normal uh, dexterity normal roll. Normal dexterity. <sighs> 15. Okay, so... Olga and Obo, if you got less than 15 for yours... He managed to slightly uh, pet you a bit, so that's that's how that went. Natural uh, and on that, twenty one, he never touched my shell. <laughs> Orga, yeah. did you manage? Did you manage to escape? Oh, I I did not know dodge was an option, and I don't understand why it was an option. So <laughs> I mean, you're in love, so you're just enjoying. <laughs> yeah, you no no issue for you. Um, but yes. So at this point, I'm going to say we will take a short break. Uh, yeah, so you guys can refill and go to the toilet and uh, get less horny if you guys don't want to have a cold shower for five minutes. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Chris needs a right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know where that's going, Chris. <laughs> it's Logan time. Chris, it's no different from what he does at the halftime break every other game we play anyway, eh? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We all know I'm the biggest wanker on here. Like. Yep. Professional <laughs> wanker. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. You guys ready to get back into the romantic action? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's not your dress that's between your legs, mate. That's something else. <laughs> that's a little appropriate. I wasn't showing sure modesty. <laughs> sure modesty, you know? Okay, so, uh, yeah, as we left the party, you were discussing different options about what you would want to do, though I think the consensus is that some of you were feeling a little bit tired uh, and wanted to rest uh, in different methods. Um, you can indeed rest, though, generally anyone who's played Dungeons and Dragons, probably you would not rest in the middle of a cave mouth when you've just been attacked. You may want to put something there but that is up to you guys technically you can rest wherever you want but there might be consequences so that is up to you guys what you the exact path the exact plan i will say because um max uh sorry adakin and random kind of explored a very tiny bit um you can see uh obviously the torch that obo lit is still there um but it's still a little bit dim but you can see lights coming from further on deeper in the cave there seems to be a light source mm. so what would you guys like to do i'll collect my torch now that i'm out of combat actually mm-hmm. yep that's well, fine we're having a short rest that torch will be used they'll be lighting another one Okay, uh, and where would you guys like to have your short rest? Uh, what do you think, boys? Well, that's what I'm yeah. saying. If we do it up here, if we do it up top, then at least you yeah. know if somebody's coming through that you got at least you don't know, like give us a little bit of a of cover too. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll I'll stay like right here and just you know like kind of like press against the wall and like looking down with an arrow. Stop by the entrance. 
Okay. See you all. Yeah. A gold spoon. A gold not spoon. Spoon. <laughs> Come here and let's spoon. <laughs> we gotta get our work together. Uh, there will be no spooning of Obo. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, be a, it'll be, that'll be a grapple to that strength v strength. No, I'm not going to make you guys do that. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, okay. it's like, yeah, <laughs> Sounds like Oboe's not getting a short rest. Maybe not. Uh, well, uh, sleeping with what, short rest with one eye open anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So, are you guys all just sleeping? Anyone gonna keep watch? No, Any... I'm watching. I'm good. I, I've already got Max healed, so I, I'm uh, I'm keeping watch. Okay. Um, um, I'd love an opportunity to actually rest. I took some damage, and that's and someone else wants to take watch. That's yeah, what I mean, I'm watch, yeah, so. yeah. I mean, a short rest is reasonable if you want to do that. You can take a short rest. Um, so yeah, I will just need. Uh, a deacon to roll me for uh, roll me for perception as you're trying to keep a lookout as everyone else tries to get some rest. Net twenty. Hey. So yeah, I'm uh, kind of ignoring the love fest back there. I'm like, yep, I'm just watching. Uh, yes. Uh, well, you can hear some kind of singing coming from further down the cavern. Hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's like... It's like, was it is the, the Love Boat theme song or something? You don't know, <laughs> you'd, you'd have to get closer. You can just hear what seems like singing coming from down the cave. Uh, I, I'll let everybody know, I think there's something else down there that's singing. I am not going down there alone. Uh... Maybe you stay here and then we just go down together. Sorry, maybe you stay here with us and we all, or the two of us, go down together when I'm rested and then they can have a moment. Yeah. Yeah, not, not, I look at, I look at <laughs> Obo, it's like, yeah, you need a moment with your two mans. No, no, <laughs> no, I don't. No, no, I'll come with you two guys, actually. You two guys seem okay. a bit more of sound mind at the moment. Something's up with them too. They're acting very weird. Uh, Ugg has a question before we go on. Um, okay. If I'm taking a, a short rest, mm -hmm. how, what, what, what do I do? <laughs> Other than <laughs> um, click short rest. Yeah, you can click short rest, and then it'll probably just give you, hopefully, give you some hit points back, uh, and. Uh, Possibly one of your rages. I think. I think you should. Yours will be mostly hit. Hit point. Hit point. I need raised. a long rest to get my rage back. But um, oh, okay. So I just click this twice. Yeah, you click it twice because it'll yeah. say confirm. Yeah, and, and it should heal your points back. Yeah. My 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 points didn't change. Do I need to roll or something? Uh, Sometimes it doesn't work, so you might have to do it manually, and it'll say like uh, you can roll a, um, a d6 or d8, depending on what your class is, and you heal that many points. But I can check your sheet for you if you want quickly. Um, and while I'm doing that, can you guys tell me the lineup? Because you said you were gonna investigate, but I need to know the lineup. You can only have uh, you'll only fit two of you uh, as you walk. You can't have any more than that. So. Uh, if you guys let me know, or, or put your pieces where you want, then I can see the lineup of We're how you're getting me, in the yeah. cave. Nine plus three oh, is going, twelve, so going, I'm back to full health. We're going this one. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, also back to full health. Uh, yeah, I'm on my way. Okay, so who are the front two people, please? Hey, Don't be me. Uh, I'm going up front. Okay. Anyone else with him, or you let him be the main one at the front? Well, I'll be it just behind them. Okay, that's fine. I'm sneaking. Be sneaky. Okay, well, I'll stay a little okay. bit more behind him if he's being sneaky, but I'll be front rank if he's ahead of front rank sneaking. Um, You can be sneaky, but it's going to be hard if you've got loads of people coming with the torch and stuff, so it depends how you want to... Uh, a deacon, how you want to stealth it, basically. 
Well, I, I'm gonna tell him like like stay at least ten feet behind me so I can give mm -hmm. a good look. So, uh, okay. Can I can I transform? Uh, use wild shape to get into something small and then get on your shoulder or something. That way we have a secondary set of eyes and you know. Oh yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe yeah. a giant spider. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not... <laughs> uh, do you tell me what animal you want to be that you can wild shape into? So I, I can't do an animal. The rules say I can't do an animal with a fly speed. Can I do that mm -hmm. if I just agree not to use the fly speed? Can I be a little bat that just whose wings are busted, or I can be something else if that's. Um, if it's for, if, yeah, I mean, yeah, because I think there's creatures that you could turn in that have dark fish and like a bat. Yeah, as long as it's yeah. just for flavor. If you start trying to fly and stuff, then yeah, cross my heart. A... Promise not to. Yeah. Um, okay, so let me do a quick roll for one of you. Um, and uh, Adi King, can you roll me for your stealth roll as you kind of sneak forward? Uh, uh, oh, shit, I don't think I did. Wild shape. Did I? Oh, that was regress. Short okay. rest, hell yeah. Alright. Roll to 20. Okay, uh, you are actually, yeah, quite stealthy. However, you notice, uh, as you move forward, that the, uh, the song seems to get, uh, louder as you would expect but you seem to be really interested in the song so can you roll me a wisdom saving throw for me all right is it a is it a charm effect um it is but it's a i'd say like a a high level not it's not your basic charm if that makes sense so you, well if you if you so if you had vulnerability from like an elf perspective, this would not uh, it would overpower that. Well, all it, all it is is that I get advantage from being charmed. Okay. Yeah, I will give you that so you can roll twice. So you can roll again. All right. So roll the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad I had that. <laughs> okay. And what uh, did you get? Uh, a twelve. That's better than a one. So twelve's the highest. Um, yeah. yeah, you just, uh, you just start walking ahead, you don't care, whatever. You need to find this person, um, and you find waiting a little bit further on. I'll show you if the map comes up. Uh, yeah, you move a little bit further down the cave, and you feel drawn to go further down the cave. And... Like right on there. Yeah, and you appear in a room that you can see it seems to have a small pool and you can hear uh, running water close by. And a deacon, you see a very beautiful looking woman who approaches you. Um, and yes, unfortunately for you, as you've seen that's happened to some of your friends, um, yes, this, this woman is definitely your true love. Um, so, just for some flavour, um, you see a very um, Uma Thurman looking uh, Poison Ivy character in front of you. Um, I might, I might love her as well, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be uh, blowing some kind of uh, enchanting uh, pink smoke at you, and you just think she's like amazing. And uh, unfortunately for you, she is now your true love. Um, and you can. No one else knows this, but in your head you can hear her talking to you as well. Uh, and she's uh, beckoning you to come and join the party. Um, and unfortunately for you, for an undisclosed amount of time, um, you pretty much have to do what this person asks you unless it's going to cause you uh, harm. So if she told you to, uh, you know, jump into a fire, you, then you would be able to try and break out of it. But at the moment, you are um, charmed, um, but there are restrictions on it. So, yeah, uh, she just asks you to, she said, uh, you hear in ahead for you to invite your friends to come to the party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm so, ten feet behind, do I see this woman? 
Um, on his shoulder. Uh, well, yes, uh, yes. Yeah, you guys can all see her now, uh, and uh, Dakin. Uh, yeah, how do you want to play this? So she starts to walk up uh, some stairs uh, up here. Uh, I guess I would have had to follow her. Mm-hmm. Right. Everyone, everyone else, what are you doing as you see your friend just following this I'll person? What, where, where, are you, what are you doing? Where are you going? Where? What's the? Yeah, what's the? What's the plan here? Who, who's this witch? What's... Who is this witch you're following? Uh, <laughs> he doesn't really like. He has a big smile on his face. And he doesn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I roll something to see if this is a siren? Um, you can being roll... from the deep sea and all that. Um, yeah, you could roll an Arcana check to see, yeah, so, yeah, if you roll high enough, I'd say maybe you can figure something out. Great. I have crap at this, so that's, that didn't matter, never, oh, actually, that's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, 14. Obo would like some sort of roll as well to see if he knows anything about this kind type of charm that's being used, this type of creature. He reads a lot of books, so would that be a, what kind of check is that? Uh, depends what you want to do, so I'll move to you, uh, uh, Ranem. Uh, I don't know, you're getting a weird... I would say piecing together what's happened to your other friends. There's definitely some magic going on, but you can't place the this as a creature. She's, you know, she's a very attractive woman, but she seems a bit out of... Slightly out of place, maybe. Um, but, yeah, other than that... Uh, Obo, sorry, so what were you trying to do? You were trying to figure out... Uh, what are you trying to figure out? I want to know if I've ever heard of this type of, like, a creature, like a beautiful woman, like, you know, like a siren mm -hmm. or something. From my studies, Obo is a, a scholar. He reads a lot of books. So you, can like... do a hist uh, you can do a history check if yeah. you want to see if maybe you've heard any legends, uh, possibly, that might help, yeah? <laughs> five. Two plus three for five. No. No, nothing seems to really... Um, come to mind. Um, however, Obo, I would like you to roll me a wisdom saving throw as well. Okay. Come on, Obo. 16. 16. Let me check. I think you might have just made it. Hope so. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, yes, luckily for you. So, uh, yeah, she kind of blows this weird uh, pink smoke around you. And yeah, you feel butterflies for a moment and then it seems to subside. And you for a moment you hear in your head, but you shrug it off. Um, however, a deacon, you no longer hear in your head and you feel perfectly calm again. You don't seem to love this person. It's like it's... Yeah, like a, a passing thing. Uh, all right, so I look, I look at a uh, Og and Oog. I'm like, so do, do what I notice that you know she basically tried to blow at uh, these two over here, like at uh, Obo. Well, uh, kind of like, yeah, because she's just yeah. I think you just said that she's clearly doing something because you yeah. felt felt true love and now it's disappeared and you do uh, see her do something. I was like, what the hell? It's like, is, is she cheating on me? Uh, like, I look at Oga and Ugg, and I'm like, hey, boys, this girl's trying to trying to steal your man from you. <laughs> Would I have to roll something for that? <laughs> uh, if you want to, I mean, I guess, uh, perception, yeah? Perception to, to alert people to something that you think strange, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, a 10. I don't know if I see anything. Mm, I mean, you see it, but maybe you're not sure how to explain it. So you know something's going on, but you're not sure how you tell everyone. Um, but at this point, she kind of, uh, as you guys all seem to be in the room, she kind of stands a bit higher up, um, up the stairs that you can see. And uh, she greets you and she says, fellow lovers, looking for a place to get cozy. As she winks, as she asks what you guys are doing here. Uh, we're here to find some lost souls. I have a feeling you might know where they are. She says, assholes? I think we have many assholes here. Lost <laughs> souls. 
What was her name? Miranda. Oh, oh, oh. Miranda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> this cave is the entrance to all holes and dreams. <laughs> now, see, a hole is like a hole, uh, like a hole, like a hole. <laughs> you never know what you get. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> At this at this point, uh, <laughs> she kind of reveals a pink curtain, and you see that there seems to be um, six uh, people: uh, two uh, male fairies, two tieflings, and a uh, small dwarf who looks familiar, and a uh, male human who all seem to be in their underwear and seem to be in chains, long chains that are. That's connected to the sense. walls, but they can still move, and they all look very, very happy. Obu will avert his eyes when she shows her pink curtain. I do not want to see anything like that. <laughs> That's not what I came for. Um, and he will recognise the tiefling couple, the fairy couple, the dwarf girl. I don't remember who the man is, but recognise mm -hmm. five out of six of them at least. Uh, and I'm going to approach and try and start untying them from their bondage. Mm, okay, at this point, uh, 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 Olga, can you do me a uh, wisdom uh, saving throw? Yes. Yes, I can. It's like... He's gonna serenade another woman. He's like, he's like mm -hmm. I got another, he's got another list to his harem. <laughs> Let's see what happens. That's a six. Oh yeah, I mean, your heart's getting played with today. You think she's, you hear her in her head and she's like, bring all your friends with you to join the party. And you feel that you need to do this as well. Mm -hmm. I'll start playing my bagpipes. Uh, I, rolled a, <laughs> I, I rolled a 20, a nat 20 on performance earlier. But I got a phone call. But, uh... Uh, well, you can if you don't want to do performance now. I mean, uh, at this point, uh, seems to be things be getting a bit strange. Um, as you can see, the people in the chains are coming towards you guys with their arms out, out strained. That's not a word. Out, um, going out. I, I'm not liking this. I look at Obo and like, uh, this doesn't seem right. Uh... These are the people, these are the lost souls, these are the ones who must free from their bondage to return home. We must break their chains. Yeah, but what about this woman? She's a witch. Alright, well, like, you know, I just like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna shoot an arrow in her. I think okay, you can, yeah, you can, well, you can do that. It will, obviously, you launch combat, that's fine. So can you all roll me for initiative? Ha! Yeah. 21! 21! Look at all these. We've got 19, a 21, a 19, a 22. Okay. Uh, nice rolls, boys. Okay. Uh, 20. This game's fucking cracked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've rolled 220 so far. No, everyone, did, everyone did pretty well, actually. Okay. So, uh, the only bad thing is, Olga, uh, your new friend uh, seems to be in your head and telling you uh, to restrain the slutty paladin. She says, you need to be restrained. So you're going to do everything you can um, to to restrain him. Not harm him, just restrain him. Oh no, it's, it's only going to hurt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ugg sees and honestly, that's this part and of the fun. he wants to assist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay that's fine we can role play that uh, obviously when your turns come up um let me make sure so you guys can all see the all of the screen okay here we go there you go. So you can see, obviously, there seem, the cavern seems to go back. Uh, the pink curtain is revealed, and you can see the six people who seem to be chained up, but they have some movement. They're, they're long chains, um, and you can see, uh, obviously, the strange woman. Um, but first up, we have Ugg. So, Ugg, what would you like to do? Um. Hmm. 
<laughs> do whatever you I mean whatever you feel your player your character would, would do um Ugg would turn to Aga and grab a hold uh, so that he can carry him to the party because he said about we need to go to the party so okay he has been persuaded okay successfully as he is in love mm -hmm. and meanwhile while this is going on i am trying to persuade obo to come with us okay so you're trying to use your action to move Orga, I think? Yes. Okay. So Orga, when you're ready, that'll be a strengthy strength, unless you're allowing him to move you towards the party. Then you could just say, that's fine, and he will move you. That is up to you. And I will allow you... Uh, you wanted to say something to Obo, so I'll let you do that free. You don't have to use anything with him, unless you're trying to persuade him to come with you. I, I want to persuade. Um, okay. You're not persuading I'm... me. Just no matter what mm -hmm. you roll, you're not mm -hmm. persuading me. You'd have to cast a spell or something to have that kind of control over another person. Yeah, yeah, you can't make him. You can just suggest, but it doesn't mean he'd yeah, actually yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. You can't actually oh. make me do things with the persuasion. No, no. That's a spell, not, afraid. Not going to make you do anything. But I'm going to tempt you <laughs> by <laughs> saying, although we need to rescue the people up the stairs, so will you come with me and help me with your healing hands, perhaps? Well, no, because it's the witch. These, these people are entranced by the witch. We need to deal with the witch. She's the problem. Yeah, and, and, and deception checks and uh, persuasion <laughs> checks are wasted against other PCs, Chris. Because you, you need to cast Charm Person to be able to make another PC. I mean, you can, it's just you make suggestions. <laughs> you can make suggestions, yeah. Um, uh, Orga, you're back, Orga. Uh, Org wants to move you towards the party. Are you happy to be moved or do you want to resist being moved? Um. Well, let's see. I'm going to carry you like my little uh, baby <laughs> chariot. I'm going to buckle up for the ride and play a few tunes on my my backpack. <laughs> okay, so that, I'm guessing that's free. So yeah, um, Ugg, uh, you don't really need to do the strength thing because he's allowing it to happen. So technically, you've still got your action to do whatever you want. Um, uh, all I all I want to do is move up those stairs. Go for it. You position you and your friend wherever you wish, um, at the near the top. Near near the top. By by the 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 suspicious lid. Mm-hmm. That's fine, yeah. She has no issues with it. Okay. Next up we have a deacon, followed by Org, followed by Obo. So yeah, a deacon, what would you like to do? Oh. Uh I will uh, I want to uh let's see what Let's see, feature. Let's see. Uh, here. Um, what's that? I think that's a bonus. Okay. Uh, I want to use my bonus action to cast to use missy step okay and i'm gonna appear right behind her like right here okay yeah and like you know it was funny the little dude's still with me so he pops with me <laughs> so he's like oh, so. your little friend <laughs> yeah so he's like yeah. so like right there and what it is as i come through get my rapier and i backstab her like okay shh. So I'm guessing you're probably going to do your sneak attack, which would cover because you're next to... Yes, that's fine. Yep. All right, so I will 
Stubby, stubby. Uh... And I will say good, good use of a new runner because obviously with him being so close to you, you get the five feet because the other two, technically, if you were trying to do something against the lady and they're involved, it wouldn't work. But because you have yeah. him, yeah, you can use it. So well done. Okay, does the 15 hit? 15, let me quickly check. Uh... It does hit, yes. Okie dokie. So she takes 11 points of uh, 16 points of damage total. Oh, very good. So, yes, you slash out at Port Um And uh, yes, any extra flavor you want to put on that. So, how many points is it? Uh, come on. Did, did you did you roll out a sneak attack or as just your rapier? Uh, it, it incorporates into it, so whenever I attack with it, it automatically does the sneak attack. So, so um, so it's uh, sixteen total. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So as he's sitting there, he's watching this going on. And he's like, "Uh, uh she ain't gonna try me again." So I uh, basically he sits there and he kind of goes around the corner. He kind of just like he shimmers and poofs. And he appears right behind her, right across from Ugg, and just, and he sees, like, as he's coming through, he has this rapier pulling out of his sheath and stabs right at her. She does not look happy, but it does happen. So, very good. Anything else you would like to do in your turn? Uh, that would be it. Okay, uh... Good. Uh, Olga, it is your turn, and remember, obviously, you are semi-controlled um you can't do any harm to this lady um and you've been told you need to restrain the paladin <laughs> uh, well oh put me down i got something i need to do <sighs> okay <laughs> or, uh, oh, yeah. poor Ugg. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, right, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, 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 you can't leave, love. <laughs> and then I'm going to oh, come over goodness. and try to grapple. Oh, just like jump through the air, just like my dear. I'm just swallow that roll and my innocent. It's strength v strength with strength grapple to see if he can restrain you. Fifteen. Oh, I net twenty. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> well, the turtle is grappled. Um, so uh, let me just read you. So, uh, Obo, so you can't move. Your uh, speed becomes zero. Um, that's it. You can't move unless you obviously try and get out of it, which you'd have to use um, an action. But yes, you are restrained on the floor. Um, and poor Org, I'm guessing, is crying at this point. Possibly. I'm not sure. It's up to you guys to decide how you want to play. <laughs> yeah. Just roll out like it. you, Obo. I think it's my turn, my turn. next. So. Uh, uh, yeah, I think you can roll an Org. Any bonus actions or anything else you want to do in your turn? No, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a bonus action kiss. Bonus action kiss? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what comes up next. Um, yes, uh, Obo, it is your turn. So, is, but yeah, you are. Is it an action grappled. to break free from a grapple? Is it? It is. Yeah, it's another. Well, it, and it's another strength v strength. Is yeah. It so, strength uh, check or, or strength or, save? Uh, just a normal strength against an org. Orgo, you'll have to do another strength thing to see as well to see if you can keep him restrained. Okay, so you got to beat an eight, uh, Orga. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, he's still there. Right, I'm seeing if there's anything I could do with my bonus action. Uh, shield bashes is only a thing if you have it, uh, like as a kit. So I can't shield bash him, right? With my second hand. No, you, you can't do. Yeah, I mean, uh, anything. If, yeah, anything it says for your bonus actions, I guess you could do, yeah. I can't even hit him with the torch if I had that in my hand, because I would have to have nope. two light weapons to dual wield, and I've not got a light weapon in my hand. So, what can I do? 
Just looking at my bonus actions. So yeah, we can do any uh, yeah any bonus action to be fine or reaction. Um, it's coming up on that. So let me have a little look at the map here and where we are. So, um, I am going to use my bonus action to interact with an object. Uh, and I'm going to try and kick a stone up off the ground or kick, no, I'm kicking dirt from the ground to try and kick it into Olga's eyes to kick dirt in his eyes. There you go. You can interact with an object as your bonus action. I'm going to try and kick dirt in his eyes. Go for, uh, you can try it, yeah. So what do you want me to roll? Um, I mean, I guess it would be a, I'd say maybe a sleight of hand, I think, okay, maybe. Yeah, 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 I'd say so. That's fair. I don't think I'm very good at it. A plus one, actually. Oh, my days are rolled one. Two. Oh, uh, no. Two. <laughs> you Big actually, fail. you throw it in your own eyes. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, you're not, not having a good day. Uh, yeah. But I won't give it. That's me, then. Okay. Uh, next up is the, the lady, I think. Let me quickly check. <laughs> Um, yes, uh, she uh, looks at you, Olga, and she just says, uh, kiss me, as she goes in for a very passionate kiss with you, Olga. Um, uh -oh. um, but it feels a bit, if you thought Og would be a hard lover, she's worse. Can you do me a constitution saving throw, please? Ducky best. Ah, Ah, that's a uh, that's a hearty eight. Uh, <laughs> yes. Let me see. Let's see uh, what is happens. Is it Olga or Olga? Is it is it Olga? Olga, Olga. Yeah. Oh shit. Um, thirty-eight points of uh, kissing damage <laughs> as she just go, psychically just mentally fucks your head up. Um, um, uh, unless anyone has anything they can maybe. Uh, she just did three years of toxic girlfriend damage, toxic girlfriend damage in one case. <laughs> <laughs> she more than toxic. She killed a man because I'm dead. <laughs> oh. uh, so, uh, why, 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 why would she kiss him when she she's rest restraining Obo? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Is that it's a it's the barbarian that's getting kissed, not the pard. No, it it was Olga. Uh, Unfortunately. Okay. Well, so she went down there. So she went. Did she go down? Um. Well, they should be right next to. Uh. Hold on. No, no, no. Oh, it said if. Oh. Yeah, Olga is right yeah. here. Ugh is right there. Uh, I'm she sorry. Went... Yeah. I'm sorry. No, that that's fine. Yeah, I thought. Yes. Yeah. She's moving. I want to get an opportunity attack to step. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll let you get an opportunity. Sorry, I thought it, they'd, it'd happen right next. So yes, that's fair enough. So yeah, you will get an opportunity attack. That's fine. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Get her, Maxi boy. So again, if, <laughs> technically, yeah. if you manage to kill her, then obviously the other thing wouldn't have happened. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, I can kill her. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do Do I also get an opportunity attack? Uh, yes, you would, yeah. 14, does a 14 hit? Uh, 14 does not hit, unfortunately. Does my bat mouse thing get an opportunity attack? I can't imagine I mean, you much can, damage. You can, if you've got the bat statistics, I'd allow you to roll, but, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. if you, yeah. Oh, I'm going to hit. <laughs> a, tw a 22 does hit. So roll, like roll. So yes, yeah, seven technically... damage. Okay, yeah, she's not happy about it, but she is still standing. Um, so remember, Olga, you're not dead, dead. Uh, you're pretty much just out for the count on the floor. So fingers crossed, some of your friends might actually help you um, and not be dicks about it. I would imagine Ugg will. So yeah, you'll have to start doing your um, death saving throws from the next round. So he's not dead, dead. He's just mentally been fucked by the only woman who's turned up in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I said, hey, uh, has, uh, has, um, Runen gone yet or no? 
Uh, no, I wrote I real bad for initiative. Well, I'm yeah, saying you could always like polymorph it, like you know, to whatever and Tekker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and it is your turn, Round. And what would you like to do? Um, where is she? She's down here. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna come out of bat form now. Mm-hmm. Um, and. That's, yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Turn to dire bear. Everyone dies in um, suffocation. Okay. Um, so he come, uh, sorry, I'm going to... Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and... I don't want to throw an ice knife. Oh, sorry, a lot of my stuff is like area damage, which is not fantastic. Um... Oh, what I can do is, uh, yeah, we could just shillelagh and then. Okay. Oh no, because I have shit. Man. We're gonna cast bark skin on ourselves. It's sort of a okay. lame thing to do. Um, mm, that'll that make my true. AC sixteen, and then I can get in the melee. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Up oh. next. Sorry, boys. So uh, yes, we have some returning friends. Um, as you hear some more yipping, as uh, you see some uh, more of the strange-looking uh, Valentine's Day kobolds. Um, they're actually called culpids, so that, that's what the person's named them, so they're quite cute. Um, they move out to try and attack, uh, so they're going to try and attack uh, you over. Uh, Obo. So let me quickly check. So, Obo... I'm restrained. They'll have advantage on this attack, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Is he no longer restrained because Ogo is... Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not... You're no longer because... Yeah, so you're not... Yeah, you're not... No longer grappled because he's nearly dead. Oh, good. Um, Not good that you're nearly dead. Good that I'm not grappled. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, buddy. I'm fucking in to wake you up. No thanks, Max. Appreciate it. Okay, so that is... That's only 11 to hit, so I don't think that hits you. Mm -hmm. Cross off the pegs. And, um, yeah, the other one is... uh, Yeah, going to try and get Ugg. Which is, oh, that probably hits, that's a 20, uh, 22 to hit, Ugg. Yeah, it hits. Okay, can you do me a wisdom saving throw, please? Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> that's my penalty. It, oh. <laughs> I got um, it. You're, this, you're getting, I don't know, maybe a bit peed off. You keep having these strange urges towards people. So, can every. I'm not going to. Uh, apart from Orga, because technically I guess he's nearly dead, so I don't think it'd work. But everyone else needs to roll me a d20 to see uh, if his love is being transferred again. Oh, I've got a nine. Thankfully, it's not too high this time. Okay. Oh, someone rolled a 17. I just want me to think of it. Would be <laughs> that would be me. Well, Ogg, your love is growing for another member of the party. So I think that's three total, I think. You slut. <laughs> I'm just fucks. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you've got a lot going on in your head at uh, this point. So, um, so who am I in love with then? Everyone apart from a deacon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Deacon's in the corner. He's like, I got fucking cover. So, uh, if you. <laughs> in right here. There's an arrow for you, sir. An arrow for you. <laughs> okay. So, back up to the top of the round, which is you, Ugg. What would you like to do? I was like, Ugg, oh, smash. <laughs> um, upon seeing Aga uh, knocked out. I'm fully enraged. Mm-hmm. So that happens. So I'm gonna use rage. It's smack of hell. And I'm gonna go for the lady who kissed him. Okay. That's his job. 
and <laughs> I am going to use my. You know what? I'm so angry that I pull my great axe out. Ooh. Okay. So I'm gonna use the great axe. Let's see if it hits. Eleven. No. No. Okay. Well then, no. frenzy. Ha ha. I'm gonna try again. Go for it. Fifteen. Yeah, it does hit. Nice. Roll, for, roll for damage. Come on, finish it off. Yeah, because I could take one of those little bastards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see uh, blood pouring out of her. She doesn't seem too happy, but she just kind of winks at you. Uh, anything else you would like to do in your turn? Um, do, 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 do. Um, so, to get Aga up, it, it's more than just being like, wake up. Like, you yeah. need to have something that heals. <laughs> You can do yeah. a me if you if you've got a healer's kit and you're good at medicine, you could do that. Or if you've got a healing spell, uh, or possibly I'll, healing potion. I'll get my yeah, to get them. Chris, I'll get my yeah. I've no, I've no spells. I've no healing. Um, let me actually check my let me check my inventory. Maybe I do have some. Maybe. Mm, I'm probably get it. Yeah, I mean. Unless you're uh, the druid, could have a healing th uh, a healer a healer's kit. That's the only thing. Uh, yeah, I would imagine possibly. Nah, I have fuck all. So I'm gonna do <laughs> absolutely nothing. But I'm gonna stand there and brace myself for attack. Very good. Uh, a deacon. It is your turn. Um, I uh, as she's probably focusing on him. I'm gonna do a sneak attack on her. Okay. Oh, my short bow. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Yeah, I rolled an eight. Uh, eight does not hit, unfortunately. Anything else in your turn? Nope, that's all I can do. Okay, up next is... Olga, it is you, so you'll have to roll me a constitution saving throw to see if you can uh, avoid death. Hmm. Here it goes. Hey, he, it's an 18. Very good, hey. so I think... I think that counts as one, one uh, tick, so you need two more. And I think if you get a natural 20, then you get counts as two. I think, not yeah. 100% on that, but yeah, you you're still doing one. Did. He's rolled the wrong dice, but it doesn't matter, it's the number that matters. Yeah, 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 so you're fine, yeah, so you are still clutching on to death, but you can still taste the sweet, sweet lips of the person who kissed you before Og did. So there might be some issues. Um. Okay, Obo, it is your okay, turn. Okay, so Obo is, it's not going to be the coach pat on the butt this time because he's unconscious. I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. as said. So he's going to touch him on his shoulder this time instead. And mm -hmm. do lay on, lay on hands on Olga for the full 15 hit points. Okay. That's my action. So with my okay. bonus action, I am going to... Cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. So let me take off a spell slot, whatever they are. And Olga, are you back up now? Does the 15 bring you back to being alive, I'm guessing? Yes. Yes, it yes. should. Yes. Yes, okay. So again, if you guys want to roleplay a little bit of that, considering you have some weird... You know, the spell's still working, <laughs> so by the way. The hand's so... just on his shoulder, and he does lay on hands. Full 15 hit points, burns his whole lot, and Olga, you are healed for 15 hit points. Ah! I knew you felt something for me. I knew it. It's... I so got, it's duty. I feel duty. You are my... You are my charged companion here. Nothing more. Do I don't know what's going on with you people here today, but... 
Come on, on with the mission. We're almost done. How does Oak feel about this seeing this altercation? I want to feel his duty. <laughs> it's like a magical touch. Oh my days. Are you gonna fake Lay drown? Hands upon me. Are you gonna fake drown in the pool so that it'll give you mouth to mouth? I feel that's gonna be coming up then. <laughs> The dark. The dark. <laughs> okay, very good. So, let's see where we're up to. Okay, next up, oh, is the lady. Um, she ain't that happy with what's been going on, um, but she is going to look around at you guys and see who her next victim is going to be. Uh, let me see. He's not had fun. Uh, he came to do. Ah, uh, yeah, the druid, I think. So let's see how you do. Uh, you need to roll me a uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Woo. Uh, wisdom. How we doing? Come on. Twenty one. Yeah, you're too wise. You shake it off, and Orga, uh, her grip on you seems to have vanished as you wake up as well. <sighs> <laughs> okay, next up we have... Uh, Random, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Nice. Did she, move, did she move back up to me to... No, uh, no, no, she no, she didn't need to for that uh, particular okay. effect. She blew the pink smoke stuff at you, but uh, it didn't seem to have any effect. <laughs> cool. Uh, I think we are going... Uh, I don't like being... Yeah, let's do it. We're going to shillelagh uh, and then charge on down here um, and then take a swing. Okay. Take a swing. Finding the button. Come on, come on. Okay, 17 to 17 hit. 17 hit. It does hit. All right, and that is going to be 10 damage. Magical okay. bludgeoning. Do you want to give it some uh, extra flavor? Um. Yeah, I think that uh, the particular part of the, like, um, so the, the, the shillelagh comes out again, the big coral thing with the um, anglerfish thing on the end, and uh, I think that Random slightly misjudges the distance, and instead just whips her with the eye on the like little light on the end, as opposed to the actual stick part. Uh, but it works. That's eye eyeball damage, lovely, very nice. Yeah. Um, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, it is the uh, culprit's turn. Um, okay. Do you know what? It's just too much fun to play with Chris. They're gonna. They. They're trying to make it the. Uh, <laughs> what is it? A treble? Oh, what's what for? The little treble. Uh, 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 can they get? Can they break? No. Can, they, can they make? Can they mess with your heart? Just a little bit more. <laughs> uh, we will see. Uh, okay. yeah, probably not necessarily. That's a nine plus a uh, thirteen. That doesn't hit. Uh, they've got they've got one more um one more go though. Just to see. Ah, that's not much better. That is a twelve. Doesn't hit. Yeah, you dodged the arrows from the culprits, and uh, it is your turn, Ugg. Still with my rage, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna attack her with. Hold on, let me let me just double check rage because I think if it's melee, you used to get plus two, I think. Plus two, yeah. Damage, yeah, yeah. plus two damage, or. I Plus think. two with melee, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, is oh yeah, this is a melee axe. Never mind. Yeah. yeah um, it, so, yeah. great, great axe. Let's go. Oh, Org, I, Org, I think uh, I think your other lovers just had a baby as well. D and D works really fast. 
<laughs> does a uh, 14 hit? Uh, it does not hit, unfortunately. Mm. Gonna have to use Fury. Go for it. I think we should call it for this game Lost. I think you're yeah. focusing on the <laughs> Lost. <laughs> does a 15 hit? It does. Okay, so... Is this where I add my plus two? Mm -hmm. Whatever this attack is, okay. Because I've been, yeah. I've not been doing that, but we'll do it. For yeah. Now. So I got twelve plus two, so that's fourteen damage. Come on. Yeah, she's on her knees. She's not looking good. Uma Thurman on her knees. Oh, yeah. Cool. Hey, that sounds very good looking to me. Yeah. Can she blow her powder at me right now, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'll have to find out. I mean... Yeah, unfortunately, uh, she's probably hit, taking the arrow to the head. Yeah, Deacon, it is your turn, so... Yeah. Yep. Do another sneak attack on the lady. Yeah, it's a 21, I think, will hit. It does hit. Twelve points of damage. Yep, she is dead. So tell me how you take out the lady. Well, as you know, like, uh, just basically cuts her with a giant axe. I sit there, and she drops her knee, kind of like, uh, and I'm like, yeah, I doesn't. It's like I don't think he wants to stick his mouth where that mouse has been. <laughs> he shoots her and goes right through one ear and goes out the other. So it's like, and she falls to the side. She does. She does. Um, so yes. Uh, so the spell on you, uh, Ranum, does end. You no longer feel drawn to this person. Um, however, the culpid effects are still running at this point. Um, so Og still has some uh, issues. Uh, but yeah, you guys can come out of initiative. What would you like to do? So she is dead. Oh no! Sorry, the culpids, oh, the culpids are still culpids. there. The culpids are still there. Sorry, yeah. So no, you cannot come out of initiative. Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, Adi, can anything you would like else you would like to do on your turn? Uh, no, that's about it. Okay, I think up next is uh, Olga. What would you like to do? Um, I guess I could use do some heals. I could use some heals. Mhm. Mm um, I have a healing word I can cast on myself. Okay. That's always, always good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to do some flavor with it? Uh. Yeah. Um. I just I, I'm staring at Obo, and I just can't help but feel like this overwhelming <laughs> good sensation just wash over me. Like oh, I wish God. he would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if he's going so wholesome for a minute, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, seven healing, that's what I'll... what I get. Very good. Uh, anything else you want to do in your turn? Was that your action? Yeah, well, that's actually my bonus action. Um, okay. I don't know... So we're out of combat? No. Oh, no, we are. So the culpits are still there. Sorry, yeah, there's two culpits that are at the bottom of the screen. Oh, okay, okay. I guess, yeah, I will do... I will do some stuff. Um... Stuffs. Alright, so... I have... Phantasmal Force. I will go ahead and give that a cast. Okay. Um... It's a big spell. Yeah. He's gonna see... A here is going to see um, a second Og standing before him. Mm -hmm. But Og has a big plaything. <laughs> Does um, he? <laughs> yeah. And he's going to uh, threaten him with that. Hit him with it. <laughs> okay. And do I have to roll? Is it wisdom or charisma saving throw, I'm guessing, for this? It's intelligence. 
Intelligence, all right. Okay, let's see how it does. Intelligence. Let me find them. Oh no, it's That is a straight roll. Oh, 19. Well, he's aware of where the real grug is, so he don't. Okay. Don't... So, no, no. Does he not take half damage or anything? Um. Target. I know some spells are like all or nothing ones, so I wasn't sure if it was one of those ones or not. No, I think he has to be convinced. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it, it, it begins a little lackluster. The thing in his hand kind of just seems to melt and go limp, and it doesn't really do it. <laughs> <laughs> he, look, he, looks, he, he looks at both of the Uggs and he's like, just shakes his head at both of them. <laughs> Um, very good. Uh, next up is Obo. It is your turn. Right. Quick look at my sheet here. So, uh, so he's going to attack. Uh, he's going to attack this one first. And he's going to do 7 slashing damage and use a spell slot. Okay, uh, what was the, sorry, the attack, uh, attack score? Oh, sorry, two seconds. It was really high. Um, yeah, no, it's fine, it's sorry, 20, no, yeah. 25, sorry. Roll the yeah, that hits, yeah, of course, yeah. So 7 uh, slashing damage and he's going to use a spell slot to do okay. 2... Um, 2d8 radiant damages. Okay. Oh, nice. Nine radiant damage. And that, the, the radiant damage, remember, that is the little popping love hearts. Mm hmm. And is that to A or B? That was to. Sorry, I'm jumping between screens, forgive me. That was B. Yes. Okay, yeah, it's not looking great. Um, very good. Anything else on your turn, Obo? No, that was his action and his uh, bonus action, so if that thing's not dead, he's not going to move. Okay, uh, okay, Ranum, it is your turn. Uh, sick, I'm going to come over here and um, we're going to shillelagh this one. Shillelagh. Okay, go for it. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Arrgh. 11 going to hit. Um, uh, don't get misses, but quickly check. Uh, it does miss. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it just, I misjudged the distance again, and this time it's just a complete whiff. <laughs> sort of. Uh, that is my whole turn. Okay, yes. So... Well, onto the kobold's turn. A is uh, hmm, yeah, A is gonna try and uh, attack the uh, uh, Ranem. Um, but two of its attacks this time. It's getting bored of trying to cause love to you guys, so it's gonna do its bite attack, which is eight. So I'm guessing that misses. And the next one is, oh, natural 20 Ooh. for a 24. Uh, so that will be double damage. So that's six plus two is eight. So what's two eights is 16? 16. 16 points of uh, uh, clawing damage. Oof. That so, hurt. Was that random? Yeah, it was on random, yes. Um, okay, next up is B, who is looking a bit worried. Uh, he is... Uh, try and move away. So, Obo, you're going to get an opportunity attack because it's trying to fly past you at the moment. So you can do your... 
Uh, one sec. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Nine damage. Is it still going after that nine? Uh, I think it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Nice. Because if not, tell us how you finish that one off. Uh, so that's there's no the radiant damage in that one. It's just a good old fashioned board and sword. So as it tries to fly over me, I just give it a little bump with the sword, and it looks round as if it forgot it forgot about me. And as it looks round, sword right in its neck. Very good, and it lands in the small pool next to you. Um, that is back up to the top, which is Ugg. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Ugg is going to charge past his lovers in protection. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and immediately go to clobber the letter A. With his mm -hmm. great axe. Mm -hmm. Does a 17 hit? It does. And that's uh, 9 plus 2, which is 11. Uh, 11 mm -hmm. damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the not looking good. Do you want to put any more flavor on that? Well, I can frenzy attack. And then yeah. he attacked twice. Uh, so we he can slice his... and dice them in the shape of a heart, if you would like. Yeah, I, and we, I want you to call it Lost Attack for the rest of lost, this game. Lost, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just for this um, game. I don't want to frenzy get told Frenzy of Lost. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm going to frenzy the fuck out of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice, 23. Yeah, hit. Um, and... Oh, eight damage? Plus yes. two, plus two, ten? Yeah, it's dead. Titty Brad, get out of here. <laughs> um, so, Ugg have axe and sees Beastie has defiled his lover. <laughs> so, we'll cut him down into shards, taking the first strike to the left, then to the right. Then the head comes off and gushes out blood at the top, leaving the shape of a heart of a body of this dragon demon. Very good. <laughs> Very nice. So now you can come out of initiative. Uh, so what would you guys like to do? So every everything in this room is dead apart from you can still see there seems to be uh, six people in their underwear uh who straight are... up to help these people who should no longer yeah, be trans. i mean uh you know they're in chains it's like it's kind of my job i can help uh uh get them out of there i can be put in chains <laughs> i mean <laughs> what? if you want to yeah. i'm gonna i uh, will go around to each of you but yeah if you want to investigate the sex dungeon a bit you are more than welcome uh, yeah, but Matt, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, so Adakin, you can go first. Yeah, so what what would you like to do? Well, it's like, you know, I see this is going through. It's like, I'll help him, un, you know, you know, get the chains off of that. But I, uh, after, like, you know, letting Obo, you know, deal with them, he's going to look around, see if there's anything else worth the value in this sex dungeon. Okay. Um, roll me for investigation, for searching for stuff. And are you trying to pick, uh, pick the lock? or rip them yeah off. i mean no i'm gonna pick the locks i mean i got mm -hmm. deep stool so that should be a problem mm -hmm. no, so, yeah, I'm gonna... that... so that's a uh uh i got always get a sleight of hand i think mm -hmm. or oh, no it's dexterity yep. or oh, is it dexterity i always get mixed up when it's um it's a lot of hands it's a lot of hands Sleight of hand yeah um yeah to see if you can pick the locks yep He's sitting there, pulls out his, like, he like has his little pouch, flips over, and he's like, all right, gonna need number five, and a 24. He's like, okay. And he starts pop, popping the locks. Oh, so you got 24? That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's quite a complex lock, but, um, yeah, you managed to unlock. I'm not gonna make you do it for each one. I will say that you managed to uh, unlock all of the chains, um, and I will okay. allow you to offer investigation to see what you find as you're also searching around stuff. 
Uh, and 11. I don't know 11. if I'll find anything. Um, you find, roll me a d20. Okay. A 10. Uh, you find some lo loose change seems to be scattered all around, and you find the equivalent of 10 gold pieces and change. Okay. Okay, I'll move on to Orga. What are you doing uh, as this is going on? Uh, Adikin has just uh, released the prisoner, so what would you like to be doing? Uh, I'll give uh, old Obu here a hand and help okay. him with whatever he's doing. He's okay, <laughs> what's Obu doing? He was freeing prisoners. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can be, I mean, if you want to check if they're okay, because I'll say, yeah, um, a deacon's obviously managed to get the change off. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to talk to them, or again, if you want to investigate anything else in the room. Uh, I mean, no, I, uh, there's no e other exits to this room or anything, is there? Just because you've still got mm, a bit of the map. No. A bit of the map is blanked out like this, but we still can't see this. Uh, yeah, you can hear uh, you can hear running water. There's water coming from uh, that seems to be coming from the other side of the pool. Okay, I'm gonna start investigating down over there then. Okay, let yeah, me start walking towards that. Uh, Random, what would you like to be doing? Okay, she's just uh. into the black. But into the <laughs> I've moved him into the unseen, and now I can't find him. <laughs> uh, I I think. Um... So Random sees everyone else leave the room except him and Ugg, mm -hmm. and looks up at Ugg, uh, <laughs> and then, like, has not been affected by anything, but is just incredibly impressed by this, like, heart-shaped person in front of them now, mm -hmm. uh, and um, casts Fog Cloud around the two of them. Ooh, uh, okay. It's like, I, uh, yeah, I just, um... I ain't never had a person uh, uh, car carve a person into anything for me for like a sort of like a statue for me before. Um, I I just I just I just want to say I really like the the way you did that. Um, yep, yeah, and then I'm gonna disperse the fog cloud and run away. Oh. And like, Oh, I'm gonna give you inspiration for that. That's very cute. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was like, I love you. And <laughs> um, what, 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 what are you doing after this happens? Ugg's going to use opportunity to run and grapple. Okay, that's fine. So strength be strength for both of you. Uh, Ugg oh, rolled right seventeen. Okay. Uh, 13. You grapple <laughs> Rannan. So he were uh, you both on the floor. Um, so at this point, I will say, uh, who has the... I see, let's see who is still in that room, because I know you guys have wandered a little bit. So yeah, move your character token to where you wish to be. Um, I guess probably... I can't, get, oh. I can't grab my token anymore because it's into the unknown. Uh, I'll move it. There you thank, go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yes. That, uh, yeah. yeah, Orga and Adikin, because you guys are closer um, to the people. Um, Adikin, uh, you get uh, uh, kind of someone pulling on your arm. Um, and she's like, "What's what's going on? Why are we? What's going on here? I came here with my boyfriend Ryan." Well, ma'am, uh, miss, is it like he points out the dead body of the woman? I don't know. Whatever the hell that thing is, basically lures you in here, and so yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, she's uh, seems a little bit conf the confused, basically, though. Um, you do roll me for an intelligence check to see if you... Oh, sorry, perception check, as you see here. With okay. advantage. And you can do it with advantage as well. Okay, let's see. That's a 21 on that one. And... It's for the hell of it. That is a 17, so I think a 21 would be better. 
Yeah, very good. Uh, you recognize the girl as the person in the locket, so you're presuming this is Matilda, who seems to be, uh, yes, a little bit confused in front of you. Yeah, yeah it's like, uh, well, I guess you're Matilda. Your mother uh, requested us to find you. Uh, she's like, I'm going to be in so much trouble. She kind of, uh, <laughs> like, uh, starts trying to find her clothes. Um, Olga, uh, roll me for investigation. Yeah. Maybe. Nat 20. Nice. Nat 20. Uh, yes, so you are, um, as you are beginning to walk down, you kind of, uh, as you go past the body of the lady, you notice that she has like a very, uh, big leather-bound, uh, creepy-looking book that seems to be uh, she was carrying in a satchel. And as you look at it, it seems to be some form of ritual magic book as you kind of kick it by mistake and it opens up. What's in this book? Uh, you can uh, roll me an arcana check if you wish to check, or again, you could show your friends, etc. It's whatever you wish to do. I will first uh, pick it up, I guess, when I notice it and take a peek. Mm hmm. Yeah, so do an arcana check, see if you can understand anything in the book. I got a 15. Mm, that's reasonable. Yeah, okay, so you, it does take you a few minutes to read through some of the stuff, and it seems to be some form of ritual. Um, where um, it uh, outlines uh, basically a succubus ritual where a succubus needs to get uh, four pairs of lovers and they need to be sacrificed um, to give the succubus more power. Um, and that's what it seems to outline some of the rituals and things that you need to do to get this fulfilled. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Obo, come look at this. I come get a little a closer. <laughs> I'll go and have a look at it. Mm -hmm. So, yep, yeah, same stuff. It seems to be, yeah, what, do you, as, uh, what I've outlined about it seems to be some form of blood ritual to uh, give a succubus uh, more power. Uh, and I'm going to let uh, the last two random and Ugg, uh, I guess you guys are together, so both roll me a d20 to see who gets the highest. <laughs> Not 20. Okay. Okay. Uh, 14. Okay. Uh, Ugg, you find... Uh, a uh, small book which says um, basically seems to outline um I can't da read <laughs> uh, I won't know what book is I, I will see book and no book that's do you know fine do you know what you just find porn it's like a little lot of porn <laughs> all pictures all pictures I, I was gonna give the book to the bookworm but that's fine <laughs> no you find porn because you rolled a natural 20 so you find whatever your character's preference for porn is in beautiful um, artwork form. Um, uh, random on the other, random on the other side because you can read. You find a small book which talks about um, how um, in some societies you can have more than one romantic partner, and it kind of describes a man's journey. Uh, you know, doing this with uh, having many lovers and loving them all at the same time. Oh, great. This is the medieval version of the ethical slut, guys. It's great. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't you, wouldn't you, shouldn't you know if you wrote a book? <laughs> you can write but not read. You think I I write? No, <laughs> people maybe write story about Ugg, oh, but no. <laughs> no, no. But back to uh, 
Oda, uh, Obo, sorry. So, Obo, you've been investigating a bit down the bottom. Yes. And you can see that the water from this pool seems to lead into another one. And you can actually see that there seems to be a large um, waterfall uh, falling in. And the water in this pool seems to be a lot warmer. And you can see uh, it seems to be kind of pink. It has like a glowing pinkness. Um, in this water compared to the one that you're in, which is kind of just like normal clear, but cold water. Can I see anything through this way? Uh, all done. So yeah, you can see this. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to head through them. Mm -hmm. Are you walking through the water or are you, what are you doing? Uh, no, I'll avoid walking through the water if I can. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Yes. Uh, so yeah, where the rest of you can move yourselves around where you wish. Obviously, Odo is exploring the next room. If you guys maybe want to follow him, I'm guessing. Yeah, I am. yeah, I'm helping him out. I'll follow him behind him. Yeah, Random's gonna definitely go for a swim through this, though. He's, he's not afraid of this water. Okay, that's fine. So you will have to roll me uh, something. Uh, you'll have to roll me. Uh, let's see, In the check. <laughs> yeah, so you'll have to roll me a constitution saving throw as you realize. Well, anyone, is anyone else wading through the lovely pink pool or are you guys skirting around it? You guys can I'm all tell me. I'm so, skirting around it. I'm not touching no water. Okay. Not as good as place. For anyone. Oh. Yes, Ugg? Ugg, uh. So it's the where the number seven is is the pink water. Uh huh. Ugg seeing the water, um, he cannonballs into it from his <laughs> position. Okay. That's fine. Do you want me to do an acrobatics check? Because I feel like this is the only time I'm going to get the chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you can totally put some flavor if you want to. I mean, it's. The water in here seems warmer, um, but it does have a pink, uh, hint of weird pink glow to it. But yeah, so anyone going in the water, it's a constitution saving throw. And for Ugg, it's also a acrobatics check if you want to do a fancy, um, fancy jump. Ugg trying to impress his future lovers uh, <laughs> does a quadruple black flip successfully into the pool of pink water. Uh, as he scored 21. Yeah, it's very impressive. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what did you get? Before he dives, he looks through his eye like this. Mm -hmm. At each <laughs> one of his lovers. All at once. <laughs> okay. So, uh, can Random and Og both roll me constitution saving throws? I got an 11. Okay. 20. Uh, of course Damn. you did. Uh, <laughs> random, unfortunately for you, maybe you're just too impressed with watching Ugg's performance. You don't realize that uh, the pink glow is some jellyfish and you get stung. No. Oh, no. Really. Yeah, you get stung by these. So, so can you roll me a d12 to see how much uh, stinging damage you take? Happy to do it. Ugg did it deliberately because he's heard what the cure for jellyfish things is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's yeah, a man, two Ugg on the loads die. Of piss. <laughs> a, two, a, a two? That's fine. You just take two points of uh, stinging damage. Um, Ugg, on the other hand, uh, yes, you do manage to maybe your swim. You dodge the jellyfish indeed and just have a nice slight swim, I guess. Oh, oh, uh, uh, these are jellyfish, right? Mm hmm. Um, I can't speak to them. Can you? What, uh, yeah. what would you like to say to the jellyfish? Uh, so if I want to understand them, I have to cast speak with animal. But if I just want them to understand me, okay. uh, I assume they have a swimming speed. Um, so I just want to be like, hey, y'all, first off, no hard feelings about the sting. I get it. I invaded your space. It's It's a big. It's it, it's on me. Um, can you point us in the direction of any like any the way other people come, and also any gold or like treasure that may be around here? I know that jellyfish brains probably have a different concept of treasure, um, but like 
shiny Ask things. Them if they've got any stats. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Ask them what? Have they got any statues? <laughs> yeah, any lack, and I'm gonna like describe what a statue is. Like, it's like a like a sort of like a drawing, but like 3D. Um, okay, you don't know what a drawing is. You're a jellyfish. Uh, I think there is a lot of time that Random spends like like saying something and then sort of re-explaining it. But basically, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna ask if they have seen anybody. Like, if there's any nasty surprises for us coming up, or if mm -hmm. there's treasure in this pool in any way. Yeah. Okay, roll me uh, for persuasion to see how your jellyfish is. Can I roll animal handling instead? Mm, no. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to have a conversation. No. Yeah, you don't have a conversation. What did you get? A zero? I, I got a three minus three. Uh, yeah, I mean, they seem to get, uh, a bit angry. Uh, they don't do Damn anything. Again. <laughs> he doesn't. Uh, uh, yeah, they. Uh, yeah, seem to throff. Uh, throff is that a word? Uh, froth up the water. Um, and as you look, um, you, they seem to like move around like drones would, and they try and make your face, and then it transforms into a penis. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then they kind of just. Go back to floating away um, in the water like jellyfish do. Never talk to jellyfish. They're all assholes. I'm gonna get out of the water. Ugly like <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can see that there is a crashing waterfall, um, kind of, uh, and a sh obviously a hole where it's coming through. Um, and there does seem to be. Um, uh, another hole, um, which seems to lead to another part of the cave, which is located uh, just uh, next to the waterfall. Mm. Are these some dudes? Uh, no, you killed them. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, death <laughs> is, murder is wrong. Can I look behind the, the waterfall? Yeah, you can do. You can investigate the waterfall if you want. Yeah. Do we roll investigation? Um. Yeah, or a nature check, whichever you prefer. You might get slightly different information depending on which one you choose. But yeah, that's fine. Oh, I've got a big four. Okay. Uh, four, pit. four total. Yeah. Um, you're pretty sure that water falls down, and that's what this is doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's about it, uh, yeah. and it's uh, yeah. It seems to be dark, up, uh, dark up above as well. You can't really see it upwards, okay. but yeah, obviously it's coming through a, a hole. Okay, so I mean, I want to investigate behind the water, whatever, whatever's mm -hmm. behind the water. That's what I really mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, at this point, Orga at the end, uh, Matilda kind of runs up and she's like, um, "You guys should probably be careful." Uh, it's like a big. She says she thinks there's a big dragon or something. She's like, she's not sure. She says it's been a long day, like a long day. Uh, but she said, I think there's something deeper in the cave you should be careful about. So though she heard the uh, succubus uh, talking about all the treasure that seems uh, the dragon seems to like keeping as well so she's just like tells you guys maybe to be a little bit careful i mean we've rescued the people i don't need to kill the dragon or take the treasure i mean if the dragon's evil yeah i guess but i'm not bothered about the treasure if we can get these people out of here i'm good i mean i'm just a simple country triton but she did say to watch out for the dragon which makes me think that it might not be the nicest guy around. Um, but also, yeah, that's a really solid point. We just leave. Yeah, let's just get these people out of here. There's no need for us to kill a dragon. We've killed the, the witch that was doing the magic. Ugg screams, Dragon these nuts! And <laughs> immediately runs straight past the party towards okay. the darkness. 
Very good. I mean, it is vaguely lit in this. It's like a dim light. So yeah, that's fine. I'll see what you see. So you do indeed see um, another cave, which seems to have a, a bridge going over a chasm. I will follow the foolish. Okay. Yeah, I, I sneak around. I sneak in through, stay in the shadows. He okay. makes a really solid point about dragging these nuts. <laughs> so, Og, are you racing across the uh, the bridge? Og races immediately across the bridge. Okay, so you will need to roll me something. Uh, so, can you roll me a dexterity saving throw, please? <laughs> okay, um... I also didn't read this about my character. I mm -hmm. have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay, so you can yeah roll, roll again. You roll again. Okay, fifteen is the highest. Uh, you um, as you get start running across the bus, it's quite an old bridge, and you can hear it start to rip and break. <laughs> um, and unfortunately for you, the whole thing comes crashing down. But it does uh keep uh held on the side that you ran and you managed to kind of grab the ropes and pull yourself back up um but the bridge is now destroyed hmm. can, I, can i use my acrobatics to get myself to safety quickly uh oh well, you're safe you already you did your saving throw oh, your um... yeah oh, you i'm can... safe oh i thought yeah. i was just hanging off the the, the no Okay. Nah, you're fine. You managed to, yeah. That's your saving throw means you were fine. Uh, but the bridge is pretty much totaled. What would you guys like to do? You can also uh, all tell me what your perception is as well, your passive perception. 15. Okay. 13. Okay. So anyone who has, I'm going to say, over 12. Uh, you can hear a snoring sound coming from kind of a little bit ahead. Mm. So what would you guys like to do? The, you'd say if you're looking at the chasm, it's not that far. It's probably only like maybe 20 feet across on the bridge. Yeah, but that's just like, you know, if anybody can fail, um, so the posts are still up, right? Um, yeah, the posts on your side, yeah, the posts are still up, the bridge is, uh, falling down on your side, so it's kind of just draped all the way down, yes. Okay, so, um, what I want to do is that I got a hump of rope, and I okay. want to lasso the other side, okay. and see if I can get it get it tied then i can tie it on the other side so at least we got a line of rope to go across yeah <laughs> uh yeah i think i'm gonna say that'll probably be yeah dexterity yeah dexterity to try and lasso it yeah okay this fool's gonna make us fight this dragon whether we like it or not huh? a 14 yeah, I'm going to say it, it takes you about five minutes to properly get on, but you managed to secure the rope um, on one of the posts. And I just tied it on the other side. Okay. Yeah, so you could use that if you wanted to climb. Uh, you're still going to have to roll me some form of athletics check. It's going to be reasonably low because you've got the rope, but you are going to have to actually, you know, it's still going to take some strength. So if you all want to use the rope, it will be a, a athletics check to see if you can use the rope to get across. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to get a go, uh, go, mm -hmm. go across. Is it athletics mm -hmm. or, ac or acrobatics? Uh, be athle athletics for this. Okay. So, uh, I asked her, uh, mighty, uh, <laughs> Drew to get, hey, do you want to give me an inspire or, uh, uh, what's it, uh, guidance? Uh, yeah, happy to. Um, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guidance in the same way that I saw Obo lay on hands earlier and just give you an old coach butt slap and, uh, then you can roll that extra d4. 
Okay. And I'm going to roll an extra d4. That's a 14 plus a 4. Is a 16. Yep, you easily managed to get across. And as you get across to the side, you can now see closer. And you can see there seems to be a large pink dragon that seems to be asleep. Uh, no, it's uh, pink. Uh, hmm. Of course it is. I mean, yeah. there, there, there's, there, there is a, you know, there is a theme about this. It's like everything is this a, uh, a, uh, a, I wouldn't say like a tunnel of love, but it's something like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'll, th I will because get. I'm close, can I use something to detect whether or not it's a good dragon or a bad dragon? I fu. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you that can do that. I know they're all things, yeah. Or do you just. Are you trying to use your perception to figure out if it's a good or bad dragon? Yeah, sure. Um, Which one? Which one? I, I don't know what else you said, because on my end it didn't tell me everything. Fuck this Sorry. Course. What did you say? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. You, there, there are, like, spells that can tell you, like, maybe alignment and spells. stuff. Oh, um, no spells. Um, yeah. An animal handling? <laughs> Man, you can roll me a nature check if you want to see what dragons are. What kind of dragon? <laughs> yeah. Um, what about... Just just even, like, maybe a... I don't know. Um, insight? Insight? Uh, no, it's... I mean, it's also asleep as well. You're going to struggle. It's asleep. At the moment, there is a sleeping dragon. Um, and apart from... Um, a deacon, you guys are all on the other side, so you all guys need to roll me your um, athletics checks if you want to get across as well. I mean, you get a rope, so it doesn't, it's not bad, so I'll get, I'll get over here. I come over yeah, I mean, it's, it'll be an easy athletics check to use, so you'll only need to get me a 10 to, to manage to get across, but you will still all need to roll, because it's, you know, a little bit of a task. 21. Okay, you're fine. 17. Okay, you're fine as well. So you guys can all see uh, the dragon that seems to be sleeping at this point. What would you guys like to do? Uh, I look at everybody else. It's like, does anybody know what kind of dragon it is? Yeah, I know about the, you know, the good ones and the bad ones, but I've never heard of a pink one. Can I try a nature check on a knowing yep. about a pink dragon? Great. Mm hmm. God, I'm rolling shit. Eight. Oh, wait. I have that, uh, uh, the inspiration from earlier. Okay. I'm going to mm -hmm. use that. Okay. Hey, don't forget guidance on yourself. I guess the next to d4. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I always forget you can do that on yourself. Uh, 24. I got a 19 plus 5. Yeah, with a 24, um, you pretty you've not heard a lot they are quite rare um but yeah you have heard the pink dragons are kind of a neutral type creature so they're not like good or bad um they're um a reasonable intelligence um the uh, major thing you've heard is that uh they seem to have um psychic type of abilities I think we get out of here, guys. If it's not if it's not evil, I don't think it was the problem. I think this uh, the succubus was the problem. If we can get these people out of here and not disturb this dragon, I think it's a win. Uh, I also think that's a good idea. This could be a really bad dragon. While they're be having this conversation, Ugg is cutting the rope. No, 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 that's fine. No, no, it's like, hey, I'll jump across, y'all can have fun, I'll, I'll use aerobatics to, like, fucking flip over that bitch. <laughs> Tight rope that shit. At this point, with the noise, you can see that one of these, uh, the eye seems to open, and you see a beautiful purple eye looking at you, 
um, as you see the dragon starting to stir, and you can see it seems to have like a, a bony crest that fans from behind the skull to make a heart. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm, I'm jumping over. I'm jumping over. Y'all have fun with the dragon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> same. You can tell me. Same. Okay. So because we are here. Just for a little bit of uh, action at the end, I'm just going to get you to all um, give me a wisdom saving throw as this large giant shrieks at you and uh, again breathes some of that familiar pink Seven. weird perfume glitter thing that the succubus seem to do as you guys begin to run out of the cave. So yeah, but you need to all do me a wisdom saving throw. Real. Is it a charm effect? Does it have advantage on it? <laughs> it is. It is. Yes. So you'll get advantage. Yes. Put All right. Elf, but um, can I can I not run away? Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> uh, also so, twelve. Okay. Who got who got um less than fourteen? Put your hands up. I did. I got like the highest I got. It was like eight. My wisdom's like like super high. So, uh, 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 Olga, did you get a uh, 14 or higher? No, so all <laughs> of you do not escape uh, the dragon's charm. So you all breathe in this uh, loving strawberry scented smell. And for once, all of you, whatever race, sex you find attractive, you think this dragon is hot. And, uh,. You, unfortunately for you guys, that is where the adventure is going to end because you all end up the dragon sexual playthings. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, no. um, yes. So on the plus side for you guys, you spend a sexual life with the dragon for however long it decides to uh, toy with you. Oh, um, yeah. On the plus side, the um, captured lovers do manage to escape. Um, and you did kill the succubus, but you guys, I mean, I'm going to let you guys put a little bit of extra on because um, the dragon's uh, breath is uh, quite a long charm. Um, yes. So, uh, we won, basically, we won the scenario, but we all failed like, into that charm, so there were dragon sex leaves. Yeah, so I'll let you all put a bit of flavor on for me. I will start with you, uh a deacon what would happen <laughs> so you basically uh, uh, <laughs> he's, he's stuck with think, it to, I do, you think, worry about it. do you think you would be the first or last to die uh, as the dragon's pet uh if he could find a way to kill himself he would literally will slit his own throat that uh yeah that would be, i mean you do feel the dragon it's your true love but maybe because of all the other true loves yeah you could probably get upset and kill yourself if you wish i'm yeah, happy yeah. for that yeah, he just killed himself and go on and like, you know, oh well. <laughs> so you uh, end your adventuring life in this dragon sex dungeon. Uh, Olga, how about you? Would you be the, one of the first or the last to die in the dragon sex dungeon? That depends on the state of my bagpipes. Gotta have my bagpipes. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna say, you know, if you can give me a a reason that you could escape, maybe, you know, if you could seduce the dragon or do what he wanted, maybe he'd let you go. It's up to you to put the flavor as the ending of your character story. Tell you what, can I can I play him a song? Mm hmm Just okay. just for a minute. Just just for a minute. Okay. It's a terrible song, by the way. Okay. <laughs> you might like it, I mean. Okay. okay. Um Let's see, where is it? Yeah, I need, um, if he watched for the whole thing, I need him to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, I'll allow it for flavor, yeah. So, let's see. Uh, you got a 16. Well, shit. <laughs> well, I tried to charm him with my performance, but it didn't. No, you are, again, a part of the dragon's sexual deviant needs and don't survive too much longer after poor Adikin unfortunately kills himself. How about uh, Obo? Would he be one of the first or last to, well, to go or would well, he figure out something else? Sadly Obo is a, a paladin of love and is mm -hmm. honour bound to never cheat on something that he is 
oath to or betrothed to. So if he was believed this dragon was his true love, he mm-hmm. was going to live out the rest of his life <laughs> <laughs> as this dragon's unwilling love servant. Yeah, you uh, live uh, longer than um, a deacon and ogre. I yeah, uh, it's a duty, yeah, until he dies. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, uh, random. How about you? Uh, any flavor you want to add to the end of the adventure for your character? Uh, yeah, I think random perishes. Uh, whatever one after Ugg is. Uh, oh, okay, whatever, okay. whatever weird, uh, like you know, hormones or whatever was in a system that was not necessarily magically put there were enhanced by the magic and uh-huh. the the crush on the dragon and uh, Ugg sort of merged into a weird cataclysm he couldn't really understand, but um, yeah, I think that that's, that's when he perishes, ultimately. And Ugg, to finish this off, how, how do you do with the dragon's love breath? Uh, Ugg was already in love with the dragon before, Aww. because Aww. the porn that he had found was <laughs> <of> dragons. <laughs> so he knew that deep within this cave, and that's why he made the dragon these nuts joke. Um, <clears throat> he spends his time having sexual intercourse with not just the dragon, but everyone else within the cave. Okay. Ensuring that they meet their pleasure climax and are covered in love juices. Lovely. And it turns out in the end, everyone else dies except Doug and the dragon. And we ride off into the sunset together. <laughs>